Uh, you my pretty, your face. pretty face. Hey! <laughs> All right, welcome back to Talk Smack with Mac. This one is going to be so much fun. I have three new friends on the pod, and we are going to have an absolute blast. We're going to talk about some horror, talk about some acting in Vegas, talk about some horror movies that we have made. We're going to talk about some fun shit, maybe some ghost hunting, a whole bunch <laughs> of fun okay, things. Okay. So it's going to be interesting, but before we get to that... <sighs> Two things. One, we got a sponsor for the pod. Soft and sweet sugaring. It's for all of us, but mainly for you ladies to get out there and (laughs) look good, feel good, and just be ready for y'all mans. Or woman, however you get down. But... Depends on my mood. Hey, okay, with your little nasty stuff. Soft and sweet sugaring. They indulge in the art of sugaring hair removal... And they excel in clean, efficient hair removal. Revel in minimum regrowth and the transformation of coarse hair into a thin, fine texture. Our focus extends beyond hair removal. Expect to leave with noticeably healthy, glowing skin, enhancing your natural uh, radiance. I almost did it without fucking up. (laughs) Give me a pat on the back. I got I you. Yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah, you know. It's usually a self pat, but <laughs> I'm uh, feeling fancy today. <laughs> and uh, one last thing, um, it is my brother's birthday today. He would have been 33 years old today, people. So rest in peace to my dear older brother. Oh, happy and birthday, uh, brother. I'm gonna be brother. smoking up and drinking up for you all night long, baby. Oh, on, Just yeah. wait for this pod Let's to lift conclude. That up. We gotta yes, lift that up thank for you. Him. There we go. Yeah. Appreciate y'all. Now to the fun stuff. Ho, ho, ho. We're going to be talking about some good shit. So before we jump into that, I'll let y'all introduce yourselves. Okay. Go ahead. Well, since we made eye contact. <laughs> you go. <laughs> right. So my name is Chandra. I am an actress and content creator. Um, I have started. I first started my first acting debut in 2021 with My Father's Keeper. We'll get into that a little bit later. But yes, that's me. Per. Hi, my name is Danielle Patton. I am an actress, model, director, actually award-winning director. Let me just put that out there. I'm also (laughs) an editor, a color correctionist, and a photographer, and I have my bachelor's degree in communications and media technologies. Wow, amazing. Sounds like you like to talk. (laughs) Amazing. I do like to talk. You know that. (laughs) Who doesn't like to hear themselves talk? Yeah, right. You should have went first. (laughs) Um, I'm Destiny Black. Um, I'm an actress, a model, and a part-time content creator. Okay. Yes. And an overall bad motherfucker. There you go. Yeah. There Put you some go. respect you on my name. Ghost yeah. Hunter. <laughs> oh, ghost Hunter. Ghost Hunter. Ghost Hunter. Ghost Hunter. That's for the close, uh, close yes. homies. She, I've been asking her to go go uh, ghost hunting with me for like a year and a half. We still ain't We're going to go, though. One day. I haven't gone in a while. I haven't gone in a while. All I got is a pistol in these hands. How you fight a ghost? No. <laughs> what you going to do with your hands? And a that's, what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Help me. I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Right, right. <laughs> Hello. She's like, shit. I'm trying to figure it out too. Uh, She's hey, gonna get my notebook out. <laughs> <laughs> that's my little fist. <laughs> hey, shit. You, y'all already know you ain't fucking with me. I'm gonna be out of that motherfucker. Right, right. We ask questions <laughs> be looking later. Like, looking back, like, damn. They didn't grab them yells. <laughs> shit. <laughs> It was nice knowing. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Speaking of Danielle, I, uh, I'll let you go first and start talking about the dope shit that you have done. You said award-winning director director, yes. and all types of shit, and you like have made some cool shit. So let, let's hear all about that. Nice. Okay. So I originally started as a script writer in school, and then I was forced to learn how to edit which got me into color correction, and then that got me into directing. So after all my years in school, I made my own production company. It's called Dwarf Star Films. You can find us on Instagram and YouTube, and we just really make short films of different genres. Mm -hmm. Um, My best one is called Stuck, and we have almost 4K views, and it's also my longest one. It's a psychological thriller. It talks about like abuse and suicide and stuff that people don't want to talk about, but we need to talk about. Right. Mm-hmm. And it shows the good side and it shows mostly the bad side of what happens that people try to censor. Mm. And then on a little bit fun note for me is Giggles is my horror one that I did. I wrote that back in 2019 and I've been wanting to shoot that forever. And I finally did. And 
I acted, directed, and color corrected that. So yeah. that was yeah. 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 All right, that was that. Yeah. 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 Can we find it anywhere? Can we watch yeah. it? Yeah, uh, if you go to YouTube, go to Dwarf Star Films, or if you go to my Instagram, which is Danielle under, underscore M underscore Pat and underscore, then you uh, there's a direct link to it as well. Danielle underscore. M <laughs> underscore. M <laughs> underscore. Patton. Patton. Okay, yep, cool. The very first one. Oh, right here? Yes. Boom. You got a new follower. Boom. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> just make sure you accept me. <laughs> yeah. It's just, I, I love Two days later, she's like, right, you right. fucking follow me back. Yeah. Unfollow, unfollow, unfollow. I will, I will. <laughs> no pressure, no, no pressure. I just put it to private because there's some weird, creepy people. Oh, no, I get right. that. There 100%. Are. I get oh, that. Like, yeah, that's yeah. true. You're not wrong. Yeah. Yes. Creeps. <laughs> and just so y'all know, like us guys, we get attacked from the from the weirdos too. Oh, I bet, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah and people don't really it. talk about that because yeah. they're like, "Oh, you're a guy," blah blah blah. Like, come on, like yeah. everyone, guys I, go through their shit. Everyone too. does. I'd be mm-hmm. tripping, man. These motherfucking dudes out there. Mm-hmm. When I first started getting hit on by gay dudes, that's, I I was like, damn, I. I kind of feel how women feel on like a, a one one hundredth of that. <laughs> Take it as a compliment. It's like it, I did at first, yeah, right. and then it you started getting like out. too. It was too much. Yeah, it was too much. Like I'm wrong now. I'm you want to go to pump my gas? <laughs> <laughs> you want to go to Piranha? Man, what uh. <laughs> is Piranha? Nah, you don't want to go there. Daytime. I mean, they probably let you out. They probably let you out. It's really fun. I'm not gonna lie. It's really fun. I'm gonna tell really them fun. like Fergie said. You can look, but you can't touch there it. There you go. If you touch it, I'm going to I'm start some motherfucking drama in this bitch. You got one time to nudge my ass again, no, fucking Marvin. I'm going to fuck you up. Just nudge. Where's Piranha at? Where's it at? Uh, that's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Airport. Isn't that that's uh, your spot? in the fruit, where you're going? fruit loop, that's right? That's where people take me to go. Yeah. Mm. A lot of Why people do people go. take you to the gay club? Because my friends are gay. Uh, oh, that's, a, that's a good ass reason. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like, right, yeah. <laughs> so as you were, giggles. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah, so giggles is um, a short film that I did. We have about 1K views, and I posted that on Halloween. And it's it looks like a B-rated horror film because that's what I was trying to go for. Mm-hmm. The very low-key yellow lighting and my main person her name is faith she is a wonderful actress and i've worked with her for four years now and her and lex and they're amazing she's probably one of the best actresses i've worked with and she's i think only 18. oh wow Wow. so talented she's so talented shout out to faith man and she brought my vision to life and it was like the way that she portrayed giggles was like chilling like I was behind the camera and I was like holy shit I was like she's so fucking good (laughs) like unmatched to what you had in your mind she literally like copy and pasted what I wanted she asked me questions and she's like can I portray it like this I was like you can twist the words you can portray it how you want as long as the overall vision's there right right. and it was and it was just she was amazing that's what's up yeah 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 Yeah. to put something from your mind to paper and then have somebody else act it out to how it's you envisioned it. Amazing. That's a it's surreal so cool. ass it's moment. Incredible it's so feeling. cool. Yeah. Like, like you feel like the pride building and you're like, I did that. And yeah, like, yeah. But like, you can't do it without a good team. I had at least 12 people help me with it and it was only like a four minute short film. Nice. But it took wow. so much time. I had audio people, a main editor and then another editor and I was a color correctionist. I had a DP, um, couple ADs, a set designer. Um, it was crazy. I had so many people and a special and two special effects artists, which was Faith and her mom, Robin. Mm-hmm. If you guys need special effects, highly recommend it. Okay. Yeah. So nice. good. It she was, said, however, I got to get into the fucking industry. Man. I'm going to do it. We gonna, yeah. Yeah. You need some makeup, I got you. Sure. So you need good. me to cry, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> that is cool. It was That's so cool. cool. And I'm thinking of making a part two, but I have a feature film I'm working on called Overworked and Undead. I'm pretty sure I sent it. And you need to read it. I do. You need to read it. I it do. is uh, about 22 pages right now. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to try to make it into, I think, a TV series instead. Oh, so That's where can I audition? 
Uh, right now, no. <laughs> no, just DM me. Just you send make me moves. That's just send me your that's resume. Cool. Um, any reels you have, like okay. whatever. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'll be checking my email for the script. <laughs> you jealous? <laughs> you jealous? <laughs> like, um, as a wife, I better not have to audition. Like we raised kids in New York City together, girl. Right, right. Our six kids in New York. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, that's super cool, man. I, I know we talked about before uh, potentially writing something together mm-hmm. or bringing ideas together. And I have visions in my head. Yeah. There's some weird shit that goes on up that's here. That's okay. So I, I to... think the weirder the better because yes. people are so unoriginal nowadays with yep. their stuff. Mm-hmm. It's so boring. They're making remakes of everything. Mm-hmm. Like, they're making the new Mr. and Mrs. Smith. They already made that, like, mm-hmm. 10 years ago. Hey, so why the fuck did they... I fuck with Donald Glover. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why the fuck is he a secret agent? The homie has a pot belly. <laughs> I don't know. I saw that. And I was the job like, it looks like the homie skipped the gym his whole life and just no. drank beer. And he's supposed to be a secret agent? Come on, I fuck with Atlanta. I fuck with it. I, I fuck with his music. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Secret really? agent, you could have fucking fooled me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's like way they yeah. yeah. <laughs> I doubt I'm gonna give it a chance, but I really hope some, no, somebody I gives me. Good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Was he out of breath? I don't know. I didn't watch me. it. Was <laughs> it wasn't good. Was he shooting a gun and a fucking clip fell out? He's like, oh shit, how do I load it? I don't know. <laughs> He's not a secret agent, man. Yeah. Leave that shit to Brad Pitt. Yeah. Nothing's ah, just original like, anymore, and it's like yeah. super sad. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's why, like, People that are more, I guess you can say, like underground and not known, kind of. I feel like that's kind of like what we are. Mm-hmm. We're more not known. Like we do extra work and this and that and commercials, but we're not up there yet. And I right. feel like those kind of people have the best ideas. I agree. But people mm-hmm. just don't see that yet. Mm-hmm. True. So. so there's this uh, low key horror B rated movie called Butchers. Mm-hmm. Have you seen? I haven't seen that one, no. That. All right, so I highly recommend. Okay. So that movie led to this episode with y'all mm-hmm. my whole idea to have actors and actresses and filmmakers on the podcast um one night i was already doing the podcast and um i was only talking about sports and it was october i have a tradition where i watch a horror movie every day in october called the max october a cool. and um, <laughs> I, I like it though. Hey, <laughs> one, <laughs> you're a hater. I'm not a hater. You're yeah. a hater. Hey, so, so one day I come home and um, I'm scanning through, you know, on the, on the fire stick, and you know I'm not gonna say anything else and incriminate myself, but I'm scanning through these movies, <laughs> and um, a movie called Butchers pops up. Okay. I'm like, ooh, the thumbnail caught my attention. It's just a fucking car driving in the forest. Hmm. Like, yeah, all right, yeah. let's see. And I read the description, and it says something like, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre meets Wrong Turn. I said, I'm Ooh. fucking sign me up. Oh. That's my <laughs> shit. That's a good cross. That's that's right? Yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah, no. So I said, yeah. and, and I'm a true, excuse me, we are true horror fans, so you're going to watch the bad shit. Oh, absolutely. Right. 25 out of 30 is going to be dog shit, but you're still going to watch them, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> so I put on Butchers, and I'm watching, and they fucking crush. It's a good movie. The acting is so fucking phenomenal. Okay. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the main bad guy. Mm-hmm. Tried to get that motherfucker on the podcast, but he never responded. But oh, he's shit. he was gangster. Mm. The, so I I watched the movie and I said, I'm gonna get these motherfuckers on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so I hit up. I sit, slid in all of their DMs. Every single person, all the uh, actors, the fucking the writers, the directors, guy- everybody. And only two people hit me back. The two main actresses from mm-hmm. the podcast, nice. Julie Mainville and the homie Ace, right? Mm. Slid into their DMs. They were like, fuck yeah, we'll do the pod. So I got in. This is how I started acting. I was like, hey, I'm interested in acting. How do I get started? And mm-hmm. I just picked their brain on the podcast and asked hella questions. Mm. And they told me exactly how to, how, how to get started, how to find gigs, how to mm. audition, everything. That's amazing. So That's shout out to good. them. And yeah. it, uh, that moment for me was so surreal because I sat down, I watched a random movie, and then I talked to the two main actresses. Mm-hmm. I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I said, oh, shit. Yeah, okay, I'm cool. on to something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
yeah, and it just sure. it, it it inspired me, man. They fucking crushed. So it goes to show, just because something is B rated, low budget, whatever the fuck, doesn't mean it it's doesn't not matter. good. Yeah, it right, matter. right. It's like those actors and actresses could fucking crush, mm-hmm. or maybe just the the camera guys were mm-hmm. epic and their angles were phenomenal, mm-hmm. or maybe the score was fantastic mm-hmm. and it just had you bone chilling and fucking scared and yeah. shit. You know, that's why I love Tubi. So many people. <laughs> <laughs> you love it or you hate it. Hate Tubi. <laughs> Shit, like, so many p- people downplay Tubi. And, I mean, th- yes, there are a lot of independent films, a lot of independent series that is on there, but... I, for the most part, I at least come across a good handful of good films. Mm-hmm. And I mean, and and yeah, they're low budget, but it's so good. Like yeah. like you said, like the acting or maybe the music is good or how just how they filmed it. I mm-hmm. since I started acting, I can't watch films or shows the, the same, same anymore. Mm-hmm. Like I just I just it's can't. Hard. I've the tried appreciation to, goes yeah. up way more. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's like, oh look at their eyebrows. That's what I <laughs> look at the fucking eyebrows. Oh my gosh, they didn't blink. Like, yeah. <laughs> They, 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 they didn't cut know. for a long yeah. time. That's yes, a lot of dialogue yes, to remember. Yes, they don't like, think it's like, did they stick to the script? How mm-hmm, much? Mm-hmm. How much? Did they just improv the whole thing? You know? Like, I'm thinking all that shit. Yeah, I yeah. want to see the script and compare. These are the things. <laughs> yeah. <that> I, <laughs> like yeah. I, I look at all of that, and there's been there's been some some stuff where I'm just amazed, and like I'll even if I I know a movie is good if I don't pick up my phone. Yes. Mm. If I don't pick up my phone, if I don't go do something else, you know, like, and I'm just locked in, like, that's how I know. That's how I know. Like, there was one movie, I can't for the life of me remember what it was called, but it was so good. I went as far as going on IMDb and looking up the director and Mm. finding their contact just to tell them how great the movie was. Mm-hmm. And he actually hit me back. Hey, that's what's up. That's I just had to yeah. just, you know, just share yeah. that hey, love. It yeah. just goes to show how much reach we have. Yeah. And it's like, why why can we not attain our dreams and our goals if we work our ass off and we have this unlimited reach? Facts. It's not like how it was before. Like, hey, man, you heard my tape. I'm slanging tapes out the back of my Caprice, you know, shit like that. Mm-hmm. It's like, no, I could slide in your fucking DM and tell you how great your movie is and yeah. give you my resume. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Exactly. yeah. This, so we're it's in a so very fortunate now. era. Yeah, it really For is. real, for mm-hmm. real, yeah. So, I mean, you know, don't sleep on Tubi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, how do, you, how do you differentiate, like, Tubi with, let's say, like, Apple Music these days, where the accessibility to upload music or upload movies is very easy now? Mm-hmm. that it could get saturated with bullshit. Mm-hmm. How do you say, okay, how many, do you have like a 15, 20 minute rule on, on a 2B movie where it's like, all right, this is as dog, like dog shit in 15 minutes, I'm out. So whether people want to believe it or not, I'm actually kind of a nice person. <laughs> <laughs> And I, or naive. Oh, one of the two. One of the two. I've been told both, but I try to. I'll give it anywhere between like thirty to forty minutes. Really? I will give oh, it to thirty to forty minutes. That's a whole minutes. ass episode. I, I know. Right, that's right, the right. whole movie. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I mean, yeah, like thirty, like about thirty minutes. I'll give it. And if sometimes, like, I'll find myself if it's that bad. It's like, okay, I gotta come in. I gotta see how this ends. It's like mm-hmm. one watching the train and just waiting for the crash. Like that sounds <laughs> terrible. Oh. But You're better like, than me. Yeah, Girl. no, I I'll yeah. give it at least thirty minutes. If 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 I'm not hooked in the first. 10 minutes i'm turning it off 10 yeah that's Mine's actually less. That's Mine's five minutes. damn I, okay damn. Hear me out. oh i'm with you nice hey. hear me out. Hey. She's sometimes the opening credits is 3 30 <laughs> she's know. like yeah. you got a minute 30 bitch let let's go <laughs> between five to seven minutes just because of my director point of view and I have the director, I have the editor, I have the color correctionist point of view, and the actress point of view, mm. and a script writing point of view. So I, it makes me not, I don't know how to say it correctly. Um, it makes me like analyze a lot more. I was gonna than say so. If people. you see too many red flags, well, amateur, 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 amateur. Yeah. I'm not really gonna invest, and it sucks. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I got yeah. You. It's just because, like, because um, I went to school for it, I have four years of experience. I know what a good director is and what a bad director is. Mm-hmm. I know what good camera angles are and what's not. So so what's a red flag for you? A red flag? Mm-hmm. Um, good question. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to, you know. What's your red flag? Um, 
people not knowing how to color correct. Because oh. yes. that is one, I, that's one of the most important things. That's Literally. a good one. <laughs> you <laughs> take it, Tremaine. Yeah. 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 That's a good like, one. That's a Because I one. saw a movie a couple weeks ago, and it was it was a good movie. Mm. But the color correction was ass, and oh. I just couldn't get into it. The different skin tones. I had different color people, and... They washed them out, mm. and then they made like the darker people darker, and I'm just like, this is horrible. I was like, if you put this in Da Vinci or Adobe for 10 minutes, it can be so much better. I would like to know what movie this was. I don't even remember. It was. It, I think it was on Tubi, actually. Oh, <laughs> well, never mind. I think it was on Tubi. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's some good ones. And hey, there's some good ones. Hey, the, the budget ran out. He was like, we got to cut corners somewhere. No color da correction. Da Vinci is Man. free. You can do free. That's what I do. And you know, there's trial and so errors. many things. Trial and there's and audio error. mixing on well, like it. like an auto balance or something there's like that? There's auto balance for it. You can do the color contrast. You can do the shadows. You can do the temperature. And they have audio mixing on there. Mm -hmm. So if you want to audio mix it a little bit and then send it to your audio mixer and be like, hey, I did this. Can you enhance it? You can. Mm -hmm. I think my favorite thing about Tubi movies is when they leave like the cut part in there where you can see like the person with the boom mic. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, see, you see the script in the corner. <laughs> no, hey, literally. Hey, you see the so, next person uh, ready. <laughs> we. Hey, like, uh, <laughs> hey, so I've never watched a Tubi movie. I need Stop to because it. I gotta I gotta put some respect because that's where we're gonna. You've get never some of our seen suits. a movie on Tubi? No, like it had to be like if it was it was on Netflix and yeah. it eventually got. I promise you. Really? Yeah. Wait, aren't you oh. in a Tubi movie? Hell yeah! All right, all right, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, my bad. I watch my own well, shit. Well, I watch my own well, shit. Well, if you're talking about if you're talking about my little nightmare, that's not on TV. Nah, uh, uh, life survival. What's it called? Life Survival. Life Survival. And that's on Tubi? Yeah, that's is from Joe's What about the oh, shot series? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. Is that on Tubi? on Tubi? I believe so. Oh, I need to check that out. I think, the, I think yeah, recently it was put on Tubi. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm confident. Okay. <laughs> 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 Actually, you know, <laughs> don't make I never second guess myself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I said, yeah, I never watched a Tubi movie. She said, Cap! She said, Cap! I'm a liar! Cap! Stop the cap! Everyone is everyone's seen a Tubi yeah. movie. <laughs> All right, so outside of my own shit, I don't know who I see, you know? <laughs> But no, man, um, while we're on, like, horror still, I, I want to ask about that. You, you said uh, I, I brought up Butchers, which is a, you know, B-rated, low-key um, uh, Canadian film, I believe. And um, I want to talk about... Before I bring up what I was going to say, Canadian, let's throw some respect on the international motherfucking movie. Oh, yeah. 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 International 100%. horror movies. Yeah. Uh, uh, Godzilla, that shit is crushing. Uh, minus one or whatever the fuck it is. Mm, that crossed over $100 good. million dollars in America for mm. an Asian film. That's fucking incredible, man. Yeah. Uh, they have yeah. no, they have no like license. And from my understanding, they know like no, 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 like they're not confined in a box. Mm -hmm. If they want to make Freddy versus motherfucking Sharknado, they could do that shit. Imagine that. Stop it. So it's like, That's so gonna go on too their, the abilities, <laughs> they're like, man, we did Marvel vs. DC back in 85. Like, right, y'all right. shit is way behind. Right. So shout out to them. But I do want to talk about some of the more recent horror movies that have been good. You mentioned Cabin in the Woods earlier, mm -hmm. which I think is a phenomenal is movie. My favorite. Um, the, I gotta the, check that the out. The twist on it is phenomenal. I don't want to say too much because you haven't seen mm -hmm. it. I want you to watch it. I highly recommend it. But there's it. like so many layers to it. Mm. Like there's so many things you got to pay attention to. There's so, so many, many things that will catch you too. off guard yeah. and just have your jaw drop. Like what the See, fuck? I like that. Yeah. I like that. Cause there's Especially because of the, the uh, severity of the characters and how they have grown since the movie has came out. Mm. Oh, like yeah. you mentioned mm. uh, 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 Chris Hemsworth and his rise to fame with Thor and shit. Yeah. Mm. All right, so now when you go and watch him in a horror movie, mm -hmm. it's like, all right, let's see if this motherfucker, he ain't got his lightning and his, his hammer and shit. Yeah. <laughs> let's see if he's going to fucking survive. And yeah. you get to dive into the movie and see that shit. So it's okay. pretty dope. It's, it's different. Okay. Um, if y'all have any horror movie of, of recent to, to bring up, no. my favorite, Terrifier. Oh, I can't. Wait, the second one? You know, like both of them was mm. phenomenal. The second one was gangster. It's so gory. And okay, that's the, the, the kills were yeah. good, but... When he was in the room in the second... Have y'all seen That's with it? the clown, right? Yeah, yeah. he was the in the room. Yeah. 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 See, fuck. now, I'm terrified of clowns, I so do I don't clowns. care if the movie's good or bad. If, just if I see a clown, I'm gonna be scared regardless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, scared, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but when I saw that, I actually... I was skeptical at first, but I actually thought it was pretty good. That was a good horror film. Yeah. Because it started... 
played him. It started as a short film. Yeah. That's, Did it? that's the thing that's badass about it is that people are, yeah. I feel like people sleep on short films. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but do. it's like, man, that's the same thing as a pilot. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Short short film for a potential feature, mm-hmm. right? Let us show you what we can do. Because, mm-hmm. motherfucker, we need some money to do it. <laughs> <laughs> right? We're broke, so. Yeah. <laughs> so go, but we have motherfucking great ideas, and we have the ability to do yes. it. We know right. how to color connect. Right. <laughs> yeah. Correct. All the motherfucking colors, baby. <laughs> but you start, uh, uh, Terrifier starts as a short film to make it into the first one, which was just like... It was like slow. You could tell it was lower budget, but it was just like, oh my God, this is phenomenal. Yeah. And the actors, the clown in particular, that yes. motherfucker Yo, was terrible. The name of the movie was perfect. He played Art the that clown. role. He I did. I might that. have to add him to my fucking sleeve, yeah. man, because he's scary as fuck. He is. He is. That smile. Oh. Like, absolutely not. What does that smile say to y'all? I'm about to fuck you oh, up. Oh <laughs> that's what it hey, says. Hey, that smile <laughs> says <laughs> that I I don't give a fuck about yeah. nothing but inflicting pain because yes. that makes me happy. Yes. I'm going to rip your eyelids off. I'm about off. to fuck that's you up. Shit. Hey, <laughs> that's what that smile says. I'm going to rip your eyelids off so you could watch everything I do to you. Oh, mm. hell no. That's what that smile no, says. And then they come back with the second one. Um, I was going to say, wasn't there two? Yeah. Like they're making a third one. one right? It's a Christmas movie. Oh, I can't wait for that one. I know. I'm geeking. I'm geeking over it. Don't ruin Christmas. There are so many bad Christmas. I know. (laughs) Or the Jack Frost ones. (laughs) Or the Krampus. I'm doing Krampus. How is Jack Frost the sequel? A killer movie, but the first one, he's a good guy. He's loving everybody. I didn't understand. I, I didn't watch it. I didn't. I just didn't get it. I'm like, okay. He's overworked, <laughs> underpaid. Uh, hey, somebody bought the license to the movie. It was like, my vision is way different. <laughs> I don't like this. Like, yeah. right, right. He's actually Run this back. Run this he's back. gonna pull the carrot nose off and go shank some motherfuckers. Let's exactly. Go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but you've seen fucking Jack Frost too. <laughs> Hey. What the hell, Destiny? <laughs> I don't like clowns. Okay, we need a I horror don't, night. I, I, don't, like, I, don't I don't rock do clowns. with them. I don't rock with them. Okay. But you know what? Have you guys seen the the new It? Oh, yeah. Yes. I actually you guys enjoyed think? It. What I you think? love it. I like both I, of them. Yeah. I did a whole color theory about It Chapter One for one of my classes. She goes back to them colors, <laughs> man. I love color, okay. yeah. Danny's like, on the colors tonight. All the colors yeah. and the different scenes and mm-hmm. the different moods, especially when um, Ooh, they find out about right Georgie. Now. And like he's in the garage with his Hello. dad. Mm-hmm. Like all the colors, they're so mute. And mm-hmm. there's like a hint of color that's yellow and that represents Georgie because Georgie had with the right, jacket. With the the jacket. Oh right. my gosh. Right. Now I'm about to be looking yeah, at movies different yeah. too. It's just, you don't <laughs> yeah, like like, like I just pick apart the colors and like the directing, especially the colors. I love colors. Was that is that the part where he's trying to tell his dad like he's telling him about yeah. his theory yeah. about how yeah. Georgie died. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he's like, stop, I don't want to hear yeah, it. And yeah, blah blah yeah. blah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. See it's now so I'm gonna have to watch it again. I didn't catch that. Okay. Yeah, it's really cool. Okay. I think I saw the first one maybe three times. I was like, yeah, I really good. like this it's movie. It's good. Yeah. I saw them both of them in like 4D, where like you see oh, it shake. So cool. I was. I'm a p- terrible person. I love laughing at horror movies, and <laughs> some of that shit was so funny to me. Really? I could not keep it in. <laughs> like the part when like all of them are in the garage and they have the film. Domi shakes his head. That Listen. shit. <laughs> I damn near Listen. pissed my pants. But it was so funny. <laughs> oh, oh shit! You gotta, you gotta swing on the fucking theater. <laughs> It took me about four times to watch the movie all the way through. Really? I'm Scary dead. Ass. Listen, don't don't shame me. Don't shame me. Okay? It's well, okay. It it's is okay. actually the the reason why I ended up getting scared of clowns when oh, like I was younger. With the original one. Oh, yes, the original, the original yeah. one. Original yes. Yes. What's the homie's name? Tim Curry? Traumatized. Yes, oh Tim Curry. my God. <laughs> you want to talk about fucking scary yeah not that oh. doesn't top the the original like the Absolutely. second one doesn't as, as even far touch as scary, the original but the humor in the in the remake was phenomenal so funny and when you could blend the horror with mm-hmm. the comedy that mm-hmm. it's so fucking yeah. hard yeah. to do yeah now, i can only name maybe two or three comedy horrors that are just phenomenal mm-hmm. shauna the dead being the top yeah Shaun of the Dead I've was fucking that. amazing. I've seen so that. Amazing. Uh-huh. I like Zombieland. Uh-huh. I fuck with Zombieland. Uh, Zombieland. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's something with zombies. Zombieland I ain't laughing. Too. You know what I'm saying? Zombieland, Zombieland 2. It has all the cliches, but it's 
funny. Yes. Mm -hmm. And like the special effects makeup was touch was like top notch. Mm -hmm. It was it was good. Okay. Like if you can make me laugh my ass off and get scared in the and same some jump movie, scares like oh that's, that's a skill. The perfect movie. Oh, that's yeah. a skill. It's very rare. Yeah. Oh. It's very rare. Yeah. Yeah. What's something else? Is there any others? I'm trying There's to gotta think. be some others well, I can't. I was gonna go Cabin back. in the Woods made yeah. you laugh I was gonna, a little bit. I was gonna go back to the original It. That's how I first got into horror. That's the very first horror movie I saw with my dad. Mm. Nice. And it just grasped. Grab yeah, you. I just yeah. loved yeah. horror ever since. Definitely grabbed me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was not fucking well, <laughs> You know, oh, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say, because he's like, hey, Danny, do you wanna watch a movie with me? I was like, sure. And he's like, <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> what? what? And, and he's, like, oh, no. he's like, it's a nice clown. And I was like, okay. Oh, no, no. And then my sister and I watched it, and now she's petrified of clowns. And I was like, that he wasn't a up, nice Danny. clown. Rightfully so. Set you up. He mm. sure did. How old were you? Seven. Probably. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. So all right. Yeah. yeah. Seven, I was around that age. Too. I put my daughter on at three. Yeah. What? I'm calling hey. CPS. You. Hey. <laughs> Jail. Hey, I CBS? promise you. No. She'll go. She'll go in my room and watch a horror movie by herself. Really? Yeah. Oh, she's. Uh, a thug. she loves Fear Street. She, the trilogy. Those are good. Oh, that's that's one of the modern. Oh, okay. Fear Street is back really to, good. Back to uh, rapid right yeah. back. All mm, all three of them series. were great. The really first, good. I love the release of. Have you seen? No, I haven't. You're on Netflix. Like, you so are good. lacking. I guess What's I that girl's right, name so from Stranger Things? She did such a good job. Oh, yes. head. Sadie, 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 Sadie. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Super Phenomenal, good. dude. Mm -hmm. so, so what they did was they they dropped three movies. Okay. That all of them went together, sequels. Okay. But they dropped them a week apart. So it was like, okay, you got to tune in next week to it see what back happens. To back. Okay. It was so and, good. Hey, oh my gosh, I give that movie like a nine out of ten. Yeah. Uh, really? I'll, I'll give the trilogy a nine it's out of ten. So good, and oh. it's like it works backwards. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you see like uh, present uh, first. Yeah, chronolo uh, chronology. <laughs> I can't <laughs> <even> chronological. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna say chronological. Chronological. I'm gonna blame it on the mimosa. On the mimosa. But no, they go backwards, and you. I would say the second part is the best i love this okay okay, yeah. okay. It's, the best one it's, sure. the, it's the typical cabin fucking uh uh, uh summer camp it's a summer horror camp one. and, and it's just it's phenomenal it. i don't know why Some but i like those types of oh, horror absolutely. movies Girl, get the fuck up. Stop playing. <laughs> uh, you know what i like too is though usually like kids are off limits Right? Like mm -hmm. kids don't, it's usually teenagers, 17, oh, yeah. 18. <laughs> you look older, care. right? No, in Fear Street Part 2, they're wax. Children. You're 11, you're getting waxed with that axe to your motherfucking you're done. face. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Like, you're done. Yeah, yeah. You're done. Oh, you're eight. Yeah. Mm, no Qualifies fucks given. At all. <laughs> Not at, at all. all. Savage. But I would say the way the, way the movies mm -hmm. combined Come and together. went together so mm -hmm. gave me chills. Really? Gave me chills. So where can I find this? Netflix. Of Netflix. Netflix. Oh shit! That's a mm -hmm. Netflix original. And what's original. it called again? Uh, Fear, Fear Street. Street. Yeah. Fear Street. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's one of their top originals. Yeah. I really think so. Really that shit really is good. good. So I'll say Fear Street is definitely up there. Uh, the Evil Dead. The okay. Oh, Evil, Evil Dead. Dead. Are you talking about the remake or I the saw original? That. <gasps> All right. So as you can see, <laughs> uh, Evil Dead Two, the original Bruce Campbell, okay. my okay. favorite horror movie ever made with Halloween. Oh. Uh, original. Okay. Uh, I've seen this. John Carpenter. Because I was going to say, if you um, talk about the remake. Yeah, even so drives. what's remake? Are we talking like the 2010 remake? I was um, talking about the most recent, like last year. Oh, no. Oh, no, I, I think I'm talking about the 2010 one. Okay, that was great, too. Yeah. That was great. That was very gruesome. That's one of the newer ones that's you could go back and watch that shit, and it's fucking yeah. awesome. I'm pretty sure that's the one where she's like doing that little lullaby or whatever. In the cabin. You talking about in the cabin? Yeah, like, okay. yeah, yeah, that one. That one's fucking, I highly recommend. It's and then real fucked the most up, recent. but it's, Have you seen yes, the most recent? I have. So the most recent in takes place seat. in like mm. Los Angeles in a in a fucking Crazy. building. Mm -hmm. You haven't seen? No. Girl, you need to get on that yeah. tonight. Like I know clip. you're tired, but stop <laughs> it. I couldn't take it. Like she took like the cheese grater and like grated it on her calf. And oh, they, like showed the whole thing, and I was like, "It's so good." Wait, it's like nails is, is that about board. that mom or whatever that gets? Okay, yes, yep. the mom I saw the previews like, about that, and I was gonna watch so it. Good. Yeah. Mm. So good. That's another that's nine crazy. out of ten. Yeah. And the thing that's dope about it is all of them are in the same universe and go together. Because when we learned in the TV show uh, or in uh, Army of Darkness, the third one, mm. um, there's three books. Mm -hmm. So each book is the, yeah. 
Which is awesome. You got to go back. You are these... a serious horror fan. I am. I'm, I'm I like am, picking man. up on that. Like, uh-huh. Dang. Yeah. That's dedicated. My shit. Dang. So Evil Dead first came out in the 80s. There was three of them with Bruce Campbell, the, mm-hmm. the original trilogy. Mm-hmm. And um, the third one was a time traveling movie. Then there was a remake in like 2010 and another remake in like 2023, I believe, last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, fucking yeah. just great movies, man. Okay. Great, great movies. Highly recommend. Okay. You got to send me a list. I, I, got <laughs> I need a list. I got them right down too. <laughs> another one, man. Another uh, of the OGs, Friday the Thirteenth. I oh, know yeah. they're in the. Oh. Uh, I know they're in the licensing fucking hell right now, and they have been in like for like the last decade. But the last Friday the Thirteenth movie that came out in like oh nine, oh eight, something like that. Mm-hmm. You seen that? Mm-hmm. No, yeah, uh, I, right, have, I, have, I have, I have, I yeah, have. Yeah, 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 that yeah. shit was good. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that yeah. shit, and it had uh, what's the homie's name? Jared Padalecki in it from Supernatural. So it's mm-hmm. like you you got some people that really do this horror shit. Yeah. yeah. And it was that one was good, man. Yeah. That, yeah. that shit was good. Yeah. Speaking of like recent, recent, have you all seen Thanksgiving? Uh no, and I wanted I to. I wanted to so in theaters. bad. Is it those good? Those were me. crazy. Really? Yeah. Is it still in theaters? Or it's it's uh-uh. out now? It's on Prime. Is it? it? On well, it's on Ooh, Amazon. I mean, you Prime, Prime. Yeah, it was, it was different. Eli Roth directed and he made cameos. Same cat that did Cabin in the Woods. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I've like, wanted to see that and I did not get a chance to see it. Mm-hmm. I did. I like it. And they're already coming, um, they're already in pre production for Thanksgiving, too. Yeah. Oh, they have to. Wow. Yeah. Because it's, uh, it's, rig- it's original. Mm-hmm. No one it's thought about it yet. Original, yeah. yeah. That's what's up. Really I was like, that little That's corn thing I saw in trailers. She's like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Like, what's happening? Oh my god! I was like, yeah. oh, I'm scared. Like, like, <laughs> hey, so how do you get into the mood as far as acting in a horror movie? I'll let you start. If how do you get into that that mindset, that tone of like, yay, hey, I'm about to fucking die? Is it is it, <laughs> is it is it is it something that you refer to in your like, mind? Like, how do I or? prepare for a death scene? No, nah, hell no, just. Being in the f- just being when in shit starts a scary turning movie. up, like sh- shit starts to bubble. Like one of your homies just got waxed, you know some shit's going down. How do you get in the zone? I, I, I just honestly, I use my imagination. I think about because because a couple of the and we'll just go ahead and talk about my little nightmare for a minute. So a few of the actors I met either a few days prior or the day of, Mm -hmm. of, you know, a certain scene. So it's hard to show emotion, connect. Um, uh, Who did I meet on uh, the day of the, oh, did it die? Mm -hmm. Should we pause? Uh, You keep talking, let me switch over. Okay. Um, I think my friend Gwen was in that. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Gwen, I love Gwen. She's so funny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um I I'm trying to I'm going blank on names. I'm terrible with names, don't judge me. Hey, names are hard, man. I know they are. There's so many names <laughs> to are. remember. Say, Hold on, let me look these right. <laughs> like um but Jeremy, I met him, I wanna say when we first started to film i met him i want to say he was either the day of or a couple of days prior we had a few um a couple of table reads or we just had like a few minutes before we just go on scene and you know joe luhan the director he would have us you know play 21 questions or we would you know go off somewhere and just you know shoot the shit and just Mm -hmm. you know get to know each other but Mm so because of moments like that, I would have to think about, you know, family or someone really close to me. How would I feel if I see them, you know, get fucked up or right. get their head chopped off or whatever? So I would go into that, okay. you know, creative, imaginative space mm-hmm. and I would just let it take over, honestly. Yeah. I would just let it take over. That's pretty badass. Shout yeah. out to Joe on having that yeah, idea. Yeah, Joe to did go his thing on that movie. Shit. Like, and let, let's give Joe his flowers in yeah. particular. That's a badass motherfucker in the city sure. that's doing big things, man. He yeah. has created. I'm still trying to get. I've been trying to get him on the pod for like a year and a half, two years, bro. Like, uh, he's Joe, busy. He has created <laughs> uh, comics, right? Mm-hmm. And then turned his comics into movies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And now he has a whole fucking feature film series of yep. movies of his comics that he made. Yes, and what's cool How is they all. How badass is that? They all the all the movies that he makes they all connect with each other in some mm-hmm. way. That's impressive. That's yes. really is impressive. Yes. Hey, he has made how many ten. 
12 yeah. feature films, something yeah. like that. And Danny, when you want to say one of the dopest motherfucking horror collections I've ever seen in my life. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh my, I'm talking about hundreds of Ooh, horror what's movies. What's his last name? Uh, Joe Lujan. L-U-J-A-N. Does he have Instagram? Yeah. Yes, he does. Just put in Joe Lujan and it'll pop right up. He okay. might not hit you back. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take maybe it personally. Just, yeah, maybe it's just me. <laughs> hit me back, Joe! Right, right. <laughs> Get on the pod, God damn it! We I need you. I was talking about your comics and shit. We need you. And it's so <laughs> good. It's too funny. It's, it's badass, bro. so funny. Yeah, he, he he gave me a chance. He gave me an opportunity. You wanted to just, you wanted without to even just before I had any training too, mm-hmm. yeah, and I had like a really? supporting role in a feature film. Look I was like, you. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I came people. in to play a zombie, and you asked me to play a supporting there role tomorrow. Right yeah, shit, fuck yeah, let's do it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but no, nah, Joe's the shit, man. But you you could jump back into what you were saying about yeah, preparation. Yeah, so you know, I, I like that 21 questions idea too to get mm-hmm. to know who you're acting with yes, and who yes. you're on scene with mm-hmm. let me know what ticks you or, or you know what what gets you going a little bit yeah, yeah. so um I, I did that for pretty much for the whole movie i would either take some personal experiences or if i haven't you know been in a certain situation then i would just create it you know okay so if i was in this situation how would i react what would i do like you know and i i I would go into it with the intention to be as authentic as possible. I was Absolutely. super nervous to see the movie, especially for my death scene, because I'm like, I pray I did not oversell mm-hmm. it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Overdive. And be overly dramatic. Like, girl, like, someone just knocked on the door. Calm down. Be <laughs> 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 real. Like, like, you're fine. <laughs> talk like that <laughs> so how do y'all feel about that how how do you feel about when you have acted in something and then it comes out you gotta your fan your friends your family everybody goes to see it are you self-conscious are you like oh, oh my absolutely. god do you point out every single little thing that you could have done better yes. well for yes. me i'm a perfectionist mm-hmm. and especially when i do a multitude of things like for mm-hmm. giggles like i was the opening scene for giggles and they dead ass like Tied my hands and legs, and I was blindfolded. Oh, wow. And I was so fucking scared to see that. <laughs> oh, like, wow. Like, so what was going on? You mind? better stop. It was, I don't. I knew he was gonna like that. <laughs> Gotta hear his little. Leave my so annoying. <laughs> Heckler's over there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm listening to you, I promise. Um, honestly, what was going through my mind was like. Everything. Yeah. You Man. Wore so many fucking hats. Yeah. Yes. It's just like, I hope I don't fuck this up. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. And like to be genuinely scared when obviously, like, I know, like, it's all exactly. fake. Exactly. Yes. But yes. It's, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like you know it's not real, but it's like how do I yeah, and, convince the audience that this is real? Yeah. Or, you know, yeah, how do like, I connect? Like yeah. we actually had to go like to the neighbors on either side of where we were filming to tell them like, hey, there's gonna be screaming, we're making a movie, oh. don't worry. Mm-hmm. And like I was in the garage and then like my screams were so loud. Oh, yeah. wow. Wow. Like it was ridiculous. Yeah, they're like, you have a final girl scream. I was like, well, I've seen an- enough movies. I hope yeah. so. Right, <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever? And I, I don't want to get too off, you know, <clears throat> off topic of about horror. But since we're talking about preparing for scenes, have you ever had to be intimate or be close with a character? Um, no, not like. Are you referring to like? sexual wise Mm -hmm. or just kissing or or something no i actually haven't Mm. no because i've done a lot of extra work and no i haven't Mm. really Mm. Mm -hmm. i think i have a good coming up that i might have to be Mm -hmm. but it's with my friend jeremy so i feel comfortable there you go there you go yeah Man, Jeremy getting all the play on yeah, I'm telling you, he yeah. is on his grind. Like, hey, Jeremy don't give a fuck. He'll kiss a man, kiss a woman. Yeah. He said, I'm just trying to motherfucking act. He said, at the end of the day, I like vaginas, so I don't give a fuck. And he's so, like, he's so <laughs> upfront about it, but he's he's open about it. Like, uh, I picked mm-hmm. his brain about it, about, you know, preparing for certain scenes he had to do in My Little Nightmare, and I'm mm-hmm. just like, yo, like, how yeah. did you? He was like, you know, he would give me the rundown and everything. He's very open about it, but yeah. shout out to Jeremy. Like, hey, <laughs> no, hey, he looked professional as fuck, too, Man. when we was watching the shit. Yes. I was like, you look like you liked it a little he bit, did. Jeremy. <laughs> 
But I done had the homie on the pod a couple okay. times. And that's and okay. Shit, I know he ain't gay. <laughs> right. And if he is, I'll still fuck with him either way. I don't give a fuck. There you go. There you go. Like, Shout like, out right. to Jerry. What's the homie's yeah. name that he kissed? Marlon? Or um, like that? Oh, I know um, Marlon. Is, is that yeah. it? Is it Marlon? No. Is it? No. I'm terrible with names. It's girl. I'm yeah, gonna I just cut out. <laughs> <laughs> names and titles. That ain't for Man, you. Man, but yeah. it is. But it it it. That was his first movie, though. Which one? Who? Um, that played his um his, his boyfriend. Love interest. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That was he did first. good. He did. I he, thought so too. Yeah, the he did really um good. the scene where that motherfucker's name is Marlon. I don't like that's that's coming to me. <laughs> I, I think I it's a Marlon. Know. That just, it doesn't sit well with my Marlin. spirit. <laughs> and I don't know. But I, I've been wrong before. But I mean, yeah, like they did their thing. They did their thing. Yeah. But um, to answer your question about, you know, first time meets and everything, Alex that played Carlo, my boyfriend, mm-hmm. I met him when we had our, um, when we were in the club and we had our kiss scene, like we met that day. Hey, that was where yeah, I was. Yeah, I'm just yeah. like, I got to do what? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> um, what? Like, why am I just meeting him 10 yeah. minutes before? Right? right. <laughs> you say action, but you know, hey, and I'm you, like, yeah. right. yeah. hey, go. <laughs> did, did you find him uh, attractive? Um, yeah. I, okay. I mean, he's... So did that make it easier? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Because no. um, that... I haven't thought about that, but like, hey, I just met you and let me kiss you. Now that's no, fucking kind of weird. It was, mm-hmm. it, it was, it was. It, and it then was you stressful. Can overanalyze and shit. Exactly. Yeah. It's like you know, like, does he find me attractive? Like, am I a good kisser? Like, and then knowing that he has a girlfriend and everything, it was, it was a lot. So you know, but we again, Joe had us play Twenty One Questions. You know, uh, Gwen even um, joined in. I think I believe Jeremy was there too, and we all just started talking and vibing mm-hmm. and. Um, I want to say the first two takes were awkward, but we just laugh. Everyone just laughed about it, mm-hmm. and um, and then we just did what we had to do. But yeah. I mean, it yeah. was it was interesting. Like the whole thing was was interesting. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't even imagine like a sex scene. And then what if it's a sex scene and you're like, I don't find you attractive at all. You then you gotta yeah. you gotta go into your imagination <laughs> yeah. and think about it's somebody like, you wouldn't yeah. mind. Get over here. You know. Get her yeah. right here. <laughs> 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 Hold on, man. Let me go get a bottle real quick or something. <laughs> Fuck. I'm going to drink you too. Yeah, oh, to man. be a PA on Levi's set. Oh, yeah. my God. I haven't done a sex scene yet. I, the most I've done was the was the kissing scene, and that was, mm-hmm. that. I don't know, that was enough for me for right Was there any tongue? You slipped some tongue in It there? was. Like, it's oh, very God, it's it's oh, oh, very, oh, very, oh, very, it's not part it of the very <laughs> Oh, well, you're you're in the club. You're a little tipsy. Yeah, you know, yeah, you're drinking, sense. having yeah. a good time, everything like butt? that. Um, he said, did he say no, he hey, didn't. So, what are the rules on that? Is that something that you have to like talk That's about a, before? We did, yeah. but you you we want did. it to be authentic though. That's exactly. True. But you also don't want to be like, man, if I grab her butt, I don't want her to slap the shit out of me well, right see, now we either. We talked about that though. So I was like, you know, you know, where where does the line where's the line drawn? Yeah. Because I'm the kind of person, the, the movies that I've done. I'm all about physical contact. Okay. I mm-hmm. feel like when you are interacting with the other character, touching the other person, whether it's intimate or not, whatever it's the a scene connection is, of energy. Yeah. it's just it just shows more of a of a, a connection and yeah. draws mm-hmm. the the audience in. Mm-hmm. You know, more mm-hmm. believable. More believable. Yeah. So. We had that conversation. I'm like, are you against touching and me getting in your face? This, that, da, 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 da. And he was like, everyone was just like, no, like, you know, do your thing. And I'm like, are you sure? (laughs) Because I can't. Consent. Exactly. I can't be held responsible if I'm in it. sign this paper real quick. Right, right. Like, if I'm in the vibe and, you know, we just going with the energy, like, I'm going to take it wherever it takes me. So, like, don't. You know, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> but he was, he was, he was totally cool, and um, there wasn't any extra grabbing or anything like that. But That's the good. kiss was, it, it, it was, was, it, it was, was intense. Yeah, it like was it was intense. It was a good kiss. <laughs> I was right. watching it. I was like, oh okay. Hey, hey, did you start judging yourself when you watched it? Like, damn, I kissed good. I, I did. I know. I but you like know that. what's wild though? So I um. For Thanksgiving, I went out of town to go be with family, and um, 
one moment we're in the kitchen, everyone's talking, shooting the shit, whatever, and then we end up talking about my movie. And next thing I know, we're all watching the movie, oh, and I no. know my scene is coming up. Yeah. So you're I'm like, oh. sitting here like, <laughs> you're like, Oof, you got the slip. <laughs> <laughs> and they've never, you know, my my family right. have never seen me, you know, have an intimate scene before. Mm-hmm. But I mean, you know, everybody like everybody yeah. was into it. They was just like, okay, like. You know, you did like I don't really like it. You know, <laughs> but you did it. But you did that yeah. shit. Yeah. I'm just yeah. like, okay. Or like, like when it. I tell you my anxiety, <laughs> I was oh like, yeah, hundred percent. You got a man? No, I don't. No, oh, I was gonna no, say, no, I'm no, wondering no, what no. your man said. No, you know what's wild? I'm gonna close though? my eyes. You know what's wild though? Like everything happens. And I don't know if you guys are religious or not, but I feel like everything is in God's timing. So mm-hmm. the first time that we were supposed to film the movie was a few years back. And um, the person I was with at the time, she wasn't with it. Like, mm-hmm. I remember we just had a just a quick I just brought it up and it, just, yeah. it went. Oh, my gosh. It went left. So I thought to myself I almost backed out of the movie because of that you know I don't ever want to don't ever do, do that. and I know this now yeah. I don't ever want to do anything that would disrespect you know right. whatever but um but yeah so the the movie ended up not happening so I'm just like okay and then when it you know it was time to film again we weren't together and you know it was just me and myself and I so I'm like let's get it like Mm -hmm. but I know to myself now you know going forward if I do you know when I do end up with someone like listen this is this is the line of work I'm in like are you with like you you gotta establish that in the beginning you gotta have that conversation in the beginning because if it's later it's like oh shit this may not be what I was signing up for I didn't really know they have to understand Mm -hmm. it's acting yes Mm -hmm. right yes like but still how do you because yeah, it could be acting, right? But let's <laughs> let's so not even annoying. play and act like motherfuckers didn't fuck on camera mm-hmm. and then they're like, shit. I I'm like, because ain't no way there now was a I'm pillow leaving my man. <laughs> I'm ain't leaving, no way. hey, I'm leaving little old Levi in the dust because Hello? I want to be with Brad Pitt. Hello? <laughs> I'm, I'm, sitting, I'm sitting there like, God damn, you said it was fucking acting. Right, right, right. right. There has to be a serious level true. of trust between mm-hmm. you yeah. and your partner. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And you probably even have to have the conversation more than yeah. one. Once, you yeah. know reassurance is a it motherfucker is. it is yeah. and it makes sense why a lot of creatives end up in relationship with other creatives because they understand because they understand, because they, understand. Yeah. they get mm-hmm. it you know mm-hmm. so yeah. yeah 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 that's yeah, yeah. hard but it, yeah. being on being on the the i guess the spouse end mm-hmm. or or relationships opposite end right mm-hmm. say you for my instance i got my wife or my girlfriend going to set and for 13 hours, she's just kissing and loving on this dude all day. I'm going to be fucking pissed. I'm going to be drinking the whole day. And I'll, I don't don't get this Stress. fool. Hey, don't let this fool you. I don't even drink like this. Okay. This for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> or this instance for you. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fuck. I'll smoke my weed and fucking drink my water. I'm cool. Yeah, yeah. But if my girl, like, imagine going to the theater and she's showing her titties and shit, I'm going to be drunk as fuck. So how would you how would you move with that? Like, how would you handle it? I have to look at them titties and say, those are my titties. <laughs> Them titties coming home to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Those are my titties. <laughs> the titties are laying Sign on me tonight. Shit. <laughs> he ain't sucked your nipples, though. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> that's that's the, real, though. That's the that's job real. for the men. Yeah, you know what like, I'm saying? That's real. Like, like I said, it's... I think me being me, sorry to cut you off, me being mm. me, I'm going to have to have a conversation with the, with the man, too. Like, look, motherfucker, very respectfully, hey, look, I, nice hmm. to meet you. Shake mm-hmm. his hand real hard. <laughs> mm. Don't let this nice face fool you, motherfucker. Hey, hey, you know what'll fuck you up is if I shook his hand and he shook his my shit harder. Uh, right, 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 right. That's a war. I'm gonna have to hit this motherfucker with a bat. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Give me some dat, you know, like hit the shoulder, yeah, you know. Right. Put the gloves on, motherfucker. What's up? Shit. Oh no. But no, that'd be that'd be hard. Or, yeah. or imagine y'all y'all's man mm-hmm. is going to set mm-hmm. and all right, we'll use baby boy as an example. Your, oh. man, your man is Tyrese and he's just fucking the shit out of Taraji all day. Yes, How Taraji are you going to feel about that? I'm like, damn, I can't even imagine. I was like, Taraji. you know what? I ain't even going to hate. Like, can hey, I so, join? So, I know, hey. That's Taraji shit. You do you. Right, right. A, a woman's perspective, you're like, if it's a bad bitch, you ain't tripping? Mm. Now, let me not cap. Let's clarify. So. Are you telling your, because if she, if you think, if you know deep down, oh, she's better looking than me, is that going to hurt you? 
No, I think it's more of someone like I respect. Mm. Like if it's someone that I know who's been in an industry for long, like say mm. it is Taraji, mm-hmm. I'm like that's like was Taraji mm-hmm. shit. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. early on though. Let me get in the scene too. <laughs> that's Taraji O two O three. She didn't even do nothing yet. Mm. I I th- I don't know. I think I would want to. I would want to fill out the vibes. If I if I'm able to, okay. first of all, mm-hmm. there's gonna be a conversation between me and my partner, whether yeah. it's man, woman, whatever. You know, like I said, it depends on my mood. But um, <laughs> <laughs> depends on my time of year. Yeah. Yeah. Time I need a man to keep me warm. <laughs> it's March. I guess I can go with a man. No. <laughs> But whomever. It's a hot girl summer song. I'm fucking with the bitches in the summertime. Yeah, like, you know, <laughs> flavor of the week. So no, funny. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> but whomever Respect. I'm with at the moment, you know, not at you the moment, I'm fun, sorry. Girl. I'm, I'm, it's this mimosa. I'm going to blame it on the mimosa. <laughs> 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 I'm a mouth that. chronological around me. My I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I would have, I would first have a conversation with them. You know, mm-hmm. um, I never want to be that person that's, you know, overbearing or what have you. But like you said, everything needs to be established in the beginning. Mm-hmm. And if I'm able to, because a lot of times, you know, sets are closed. You know, mm-hmm. they don't allow yeah. extra people on set, but. If there is, if I know without a doubt there is a certain level of trust mm-hmm. and respect, you know, within my relationship, then it doesn't matter how bad she is. It doesn't matter, you know, what she can or can't do or if she's better than me or not. Like, like you said, like, that's coming home to me. And yeah. I have to just trust that I can't right. question everything. And not saying that that's just where I'm at now. Like, it, it's, you know, I'm still growing in that Um because, I mean, there's someone that I'm interested in that's, you know, very, very well known and very good looking. And mm-hmm. I know that, you know, he's going to be in certain things and I'm just like, you know, mm-hmm. so I think this just it all just comes down to communicating and yeah. just mm-hmm. trusting and believing like that's mine. Have your moments. Right. But, you know, what's up? So <laughs> yeah. when, when he comes home, are you like, go wash your teeth, take a shower, shave? Oh, yeah, you got to clean you, all of that. You, you, ain't, you ain't bringing that to bed. Uh, <laughs> you actually got to yeah. sleep on the couch. We'll recoup tomorrow because I need 24 hours from your I ain't mad, but you ass. in a doghouse. No. <laughs> Just <'cause>, like, okay. <laughs> no, like, I, I, think, I, I think that, you know, if I know there's going to be, you know, that type of vibe mm-hmm. and... I think there, there's. I don't think there's anything wrong with creating rules or setting boundaries, and then boundaries are a motherfucker, man, mm-hmm. for hey. real, for real. Hey, People don't it, create it, boundaries. They, hey, I'm, or, I'm, you know, I'm 29, about to be 30 in a mm-hmm. few months, and I'm just now understanding as a man what the fuck boundaries are. Right, mm-hmm. I'm like, 32, and I'm just understanding what boundaries are. Yeah, like, I, I, I feel like 30, around you know, give or take maybe two, three, four years. Yeah. That's when we kind of start figuring it out because yeah. we have experience mm-hmm. enough to where we're like, we ain't going to stand for this shit. 100%. So we got we to gotta establish this 100%. in the beginning. Hey, I'm not giving up roles because you're insecure and don't right. want me I'm not going to no dim you know, what I got going on just to make you comfortable. No, yeah. because now you coming in between my money. Uh-huh. <laughs> but money and pursuit. Yeah. Pursuit of that yeah. dream. It's pursuit that growth, of what we want to you know? do. Yeah. You know, moving forward and elevating and progressing like... You come with me. I want you to come with me, but you're not gonna hold me back. You're not yeah. gonna hold me back. Because we we can't give up. It's I'm sure we can all agree. It's fucking just pure bliss when yeah. you're on on set 100%. recording. Mm. You're like, no matter how long it is, whether it's five seconds or five hours, you're like holy motherfucking mm-hmm. shit. Let's right. go, baby. Right. All right. of them cameras are pointed on me <laughs> right now, <laughs> and I'm ready to go put on a motherfucking man, show. Man. Yes. And if anything, like whomever I'm with, I'm probably thinking about that person just to get mm. through. The scene. Oh, you have yeah. to, you know. I, I would so think, yeah. it's like, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nice. You got to. So I mean, it's it's just you know, just talk to your partner, like yeah. mm-hmm. know who you're dealing with, know mm-hmm. the type of person that you're with, mm-hmm. you know. Exactly. So I that mean, that comes into like relationships are a whole other thing as we're getting a little bit older. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. if if this is a person that you just want to fuck on at the moment, mm-hmm. you know, right. pay your bills, help you pay your bills because it's expensive out here. That's one thing, right? But if this is a person that you truly love and you fuck with and you want to grind with and mm-hmm. fucking attack the world and mm-hmm. just achieve everything together, yeah, mm-hmm. you are willing to sacrifice and say. All right, man, you can kiss on my boo for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Just know when she's coming home, I'm right. keeping her warm, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think I'd be, I'm sorry. Hey, I'm gonna be jealous. It, yeah, yeah. I think I'm a jealous motherfucker, you're, man. You're hey, human. Hey, at the end of the day, that is my boo. Yeah. That is that yeah. is that is my Have girl, your right? Moment, but understand, mm-hmm. That's understand. It. I'm gonna so have like hate. Cause I'm gonna be hating for sure. I'm like, man, you was <laughs> fucking with my girl, and I know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And she came home, and I was cool still. Right. So right. I'm auto- automatically gonna hate and be a little mad. Mm-hmm. And then I'm gonna be like, all right, man, maybe I could be cool with you or something. Cause <laughs> right. you don't work with my girl for a while, mm-hmm. man. We're gonna see. Oh my gosh. I and a, con- you. a conversation <laughs> needs to be had between the actor and that co-star too, yeah. not just yeah. between oh, yeah. you and your partner, yeah. mm-hmm. but also your co-star. Be like, all right, look, motherfucker, like. All right, we got this scene. We gonna do what it do, and you know, we gonna That's sell this it. shit. But yeah. understand, this is just the scene. Right. Like, ain't no hidden, you know, nothing. Like, so it's not any more, any less. I want to sell this shit. Yeah, yeah. Communicating. But you know, at the end of the day, that could be said though. But like, men are pieces of shit. I mean, there's some pieces of shit women out there too. Oh, but like, ain't nobody, there, yeah. everybody, yeah. shit. No. <laughs> You can't trust nobody. Like yeah. one is. All no, y'all ain't shit. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Everybody ain't shit. The fuck? Jesus. It's just people don't understand how to communicate. Yeah, yeah. it's a big problem. It's hard though. It's, it is. It's, it's very it's hard. hard. It is. Find a therapist. Yeah, That's I mean, to me, I have a in the nicest way in possible communications. <laughs> so for me, I'm like, it should be easy for people to to communicate because you're the mm-hmm. expert. Shit, but they <laughs> <laughs> you have a degree. No, no, the thing well, is, you never learned it yet. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, people don't want to open up, and people are scared to That's be emotional. It. That's it. And they're afraid Vulnerable. if they put their opinion out there and themselves out there. Vulnerable. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That they're like, oh, X, Y, and Z is not going to like me, and blah, blah, blah. Like, who cares? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Like, be you and just That's communicate, it. especially That's with it. relationships. Get yeah. some help. People don't know how to communicate for shit, 100%. whether it's relationships, friendships, like family, whatever. People just. Mm, they just don't they just don't they just you know sweep it under the rug i can say from my own personal experience i've had a huge issue with communicating because in the back of my mind i'm thinking oh my gosh if i say this if i tell them this they're gonna leave Mm -hmm. and i don't know if it's like some type of underlining trauma that i had or you know that i haven't you know outgrown or whatever Mm -hmm. but that did keep me from communicating. Mm-hmm. And then also, mm-hmm. you know, people fear from being judged. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know, they don't want to go through that. They don't want to break that barrier. So they just, you know, hope that it'll just right. kind of go away. away. <laughs> right. You know, yeah. it's not. But then that problem becomes recurring. Yes. Uh-huh. And yes. then the other person doesn't even know. Yes. Right. And yes. That's what makes it worse, which comes back to the communication. Mm-hmm. Hey, I don't like this because of. Mm-hmm. But at the, at the end of the day, if, a, if the person that you're with is going to judge you, Based mm-hmm. on how something affects you, yeah, you shouldn't be together that's anyways. Exactly yeah, that's yeah. Not your person. Yeah. No, not no matter how much you know, starting over or finding somebody new or asking them twenty one motherfucking questions mm-hmm. and getting to know somebody, <laughs> how many times we have to go through that? Yeah. Fuck that! I'll go through it over and over before I settle for some shit I'm not yeah. happy in. And yeah. that's it right there. We ain't settling. Yeah, yeah. no. All twenty twenty four. No, for indefinitely because yeah. all of yeah. us have are not settling and we are all pursuing something that most mm-hmm. people think is impossible. Right. Mm-hmm. We don't settle. Right. We yeah. don't settle in nothing. That's real. Never. That's yeah. real. That's real. Yeah. yeah. I think a lot of it for me is I'm very big on finding help, get some help. And I do not have very good patience to people who no, are older than me. To the choir. For people who are older than me and she will said, not. Oh, fucker. I don't want to hear what you <laughs> no. got to say. That <laughs> just refuse to like, even try or try to get help or they don't want to communicate if you're i'm 23 if you're 27 and we're having problems and i have help and you don't that's the first red flag get your shit together Stop playing games. Period. It's, I, not, it's hey, not even hey, age though. It's but in 20, general. Twenty seven. Yeah. yeah Twenty seven is yeah. young yeah. though. Yeah. That that's gonna come with different times with different people because we don't know what they have been through or what right. they have mm-hmm. not. Yeah, and you should get help. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 I think that's well, your point. Yeah, people need to be <laughs> accountable for sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I think the the big thing is is if you can acknowledge that you do have some kind of pain or trauma and you're willing versus yes. then just like no. Yeah. I don't even have wrong with me. Right. Right. You're, you're, you're tripping. Like, no, motherfucker, you're not you're not. Don't yeah, project. Like, yeah. 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 Don't put that negative spirit. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. hundred percent. And a lot of people a lot of people do that. <laughs> they pretend like they're they're okay when they're not. You know, you you can ask 
a blatant direct question. People mm-hmm. won't answer, and it. they won't answer they it. They'll not answer all it. the way around. They'll it. Like, they'll they'll evade it, the it or back. they'll just make it seem like you know, oh yeah, I'm I'm straight. You yeah. know, my mental my mental health is a one. Mm-hmm. My foundation is solid. I and mean, this that's, shit is crap. I, I'm assuming when you're saying <laughs> that you're referring to a man, prob- possibly. I'm just speaking in general because I, yeah. I feel like I feel like women are more open to talking about their emotions and feelings versus others yes mm-hmm. because yeah. that comes back to being judged and feeling mm-hmm. less than mm-hmm. or yeah. even as a man we have to provide and we yeah. have to yeah. make make sure y'all are safe and yes. we need to be there for y'all mm-hmm. so when it comes to talking about our emotions or it comes to talking about something where we feel maybe insecure about it's hard for us to admit mm-hmm. that yes because it comes back to being judged Judge. or yeah. making yes. making me feel like I'm less than mm-hmm. I'm supposed to be be there for you but I'm putting myself in a vulnerable situation to mm-hmm. where I'm less than mm-hmm. Right. It's hard. Yeah. It's yeah. hard yeah. as fuck. I think yeah. That men have a harder time in like the society we live in. Like you guys have a lot more pressure than us women. Yeah. But I will say it's ten times more attractive when a man can be like open. It is. Absolutely. It Tell is. me what you're feeling. Let's right. talk about it. But right. that that takes time too yeah. though, mm-hmm. for, for a man to understand that it is okay for that. And it takes mm-hmm. the right woman too. hundred percent. They're not Trust, just gonna open yeah. up to anybody. And then you gotta also throw in the fact that based on yeah we are growing and getting a little bit older. What if we have experienced something where we did take that leap of faith mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. that woman took that shit flipped it and fucking yeah. made us feel like a I piece of shit. I was just getting ready to bring that are up. Are we ever gonna do it again? How long is it gonna take mm-hmm. us before we trust Mm y'all or the person that we're with to fully like have my emotions and they're not going to take advantage yes Mm -hmm. yes Uh so it it takes time for different people Mm -hmm. yeah and i think us as women as well as other men who are open to you know healing and Mm -hmm. and speaking on mental health and 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 just growing in that i think we need to make that normal. We need yeah. to talk about it mm-hmm. more, you mm-hmm. know, and and just be more open about it. Like, mm-hmm. it's okay. Like, even if yeah. you have to be repetitive about it. Because, I mean, like you said, society looks at a man and you have to do X, Y, and Z, A through Z, mm-hmm. and be good. Right. <laughs> be yeah. strong. And that's not the case. They're human, yeah. Yeah. you know? So, I mean, yeah. us as women, we have to advocate more for that and 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 not look at it at a, a a man being vulnerable as a weakness because it's, yeah, not. it's not i think it's a strength 100 percent. if we're vulnerable to the person we are with right yeah because that's that's where the balance comes in if mm-hmm. you're vulnerable all the time to everybody now you're looked at like you're weak right yeah. mm-hmm. and then i don't give a fuck right. what you may say don't get it twisted <laughs> society's gonna say that's a weak ass soft yeah. ass motherfucker and that yeah it's just sad that's that's so fucked up. It is fucked that's up, so but fucked that's up. reality, and yeah. we got to deal with it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So now it's just up to motherfucking fate and luck to say, hey, we're rolling these motherfucking dice, and... Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope she's the one and she ain't going to take advantage of me. Man, man. But also, if you if you do open up to a woman, and let's say she does fuck it up, and she you know switches it up on you, don't close yourself off. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't say, okay, well... She did this. Every other woman that I've run into after her is going to be the same way. Because that, that's that, not that's ignorance that's, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you also have to be honest with yourself and say, okay, I am hurting. I need to take this time to recover. Yes. So that I don't start something with the next right. woman and, right. and I don't give her the the fair opportunity be to, to real. succeed. Be real. Mm-hmm. Be real. Pretty much, don't even date or anything. Yeah. Until about like thirty. Until yeah. about, yeah. about, yeah. about thirty, thirty-five. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't fuck with these young people. Fuck them and leave Don't them. Don't think about settling down and yeah. seeing you like 40. No. <laughs> hey, let me chase my goals, chase my dreams. Let yeah. me fuck them two times and restart. Period. And then I'll, mm-hmm. I'll settle for the next one. I'll think about it. Yeah. I'll consider it. I'll think about it. Maybe. You know? But hey, if you get lucky and find a, a Mr. and Mrs. Right before then, fuck yeah. Good for y'all. Yeah. Hats off to you. Hold on to that. Mm-hmm. Hold on to that. Because it, it yeah. you know, when it comes to, to love and being with somebody, it's fucking magical mm-hmm. if it works. Because mm-hmm. if it don't, it's toxic and a bitch. And you both have to want it. Yeah. yeah. You both got to want it. Mm-hmm. You got to want to work That's at it. That's where it gets scary. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. it's like, do you really want it? Right, right, I right. know what I'm thinking, but mm-hmm. I don't know right. what you're thinking. What you thinking? <laughs> what, are, what are you doing when you leave? Right. Are you still doing and, and living by the same code and honor that you give me when we're at home when you leave? When and you're see, at work and you're and you're with Mr. 
Alex, and he's six foot Alex. and 185 pounds, and he has a six foot six pack abs and shit. Are you still you being faithful to hell. me? <laughs> <laughs> I would be if I had a boss like that. I'd be the first one. I'm like, honey, mm-hmm. I'm going to make some extra money. I'll be back, and we can split it. <laughs> we can split it. I don't know. And, and, and me being me, I just said, Destiny, baby, go get that bread. <laughs> Where's you Mr. Alex at? We, right. <laughs> we need 1500 in that, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what bills uh, we got coming up? No, right. Right. You that's that true love I did. Like, baby, I'm doing this so I can it's buy you us. some new shoes. Right. <laughs> so we can go on vacation. What you want? What you want? I don't know how much hey, I need to make. Put your PTO in, baby, right. because uh, we're going out. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty motherfucker. <laughs> I'm all about the hustle. I'm yeah. all about the I am here for it. Respect. I am here for it. Gotta work smarter, not right harder. Yeah. Right. Smarter, not harder. I fuck <laughs> with that. Man, what y'all got coming up next? You I know you're go? taking Jesus. a break and you're yeah, mental together. I'm taking and a break. And you're one of the most badass motherfuckers I know when it comes to acting. <laughs> Come on. Like I used Thank to I, I, I used to ask her questions like how I you mentally that. get into the zone. <laughs> and I probably Destiny gave you the being worst Destiny, answers. she was like, I don't, I don't think of nothing. <laughs> I, hey, just but, go. Hey, but she said that, and it made so much sense. That like that's yeah. my learned. That's what we're yeah. what we was learning. Like, like don't just, think of shit. Just mm-hmm. listen to what they're saying. And, like, like, and that's all yeah, right. It's yeah. all yeah. what it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think some of my best scenes, like I just blacked out. I think the one I did with Shamel. What was that? Like, Shamizy. Oh, that's, that's my bro. Talk smack with Mac fucking <laughs> bet. <laughs> he been on this bitch a few times. So hey. cool. I, it was like a scene, like they had a pizzeria and like that was one of the best scenes I had with Jamel. I was just like so focused on him and it was long. It was like an eight page scene. Oh I God. Was like, Ooh, Damn. An eight page yeah, scene? Yeah, maybe five, but it was long. That's it was, a it lot. was really yeah. long. One, three, that's... five. That shit is all a lot. Shit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Like I had, I don't have much going on right now. I, I'm kind of taking a break just because I, I kind of come to the decision that as actors or as like actors as we are, it's really hard to do projects that are longer than a day when you don't have like financial stability and yeah, like, like financial preach. Preach. stuff. Like I can't take two weeks out of my life to go film something and then wait like two weeks to 30 and days to get right. paid. Pay, pay money no. to go Yeah, through. right, right. Like, you're, you're paying to go out of town. You're exactly. paying for the hotel sometimes. You're not yeah. always being reimbursed. Right. Like it's a lot. Like that's a lot for like an everyday, you know, mm-hmm. not an A-list actor. So that's kind of where my head is at. Like I kind of just want to like clear up like personal debt, save. I did a little bit of stuff like here and there earlier in the year. but like, commercial. Uh, <laughs> oh, we got a commercial. Yes, I did a commercial. Yes, did a commercial. On, Thank you. That I did shit it. was looking good. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, yeah. 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 I a box. I was like, you box? Box? Yeah. 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 I know. I was like, damn, look at my wife. Like, hey. Yeah. Hey. Yes. I Six did. kids and she's still looking yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we're married. Like, yeah. 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 Little do y'all know, you got six yeah. teenagers. I know. Okay. <laughs> okay. I know. Okay. We gotta yes. make our money. <laughs> I did a commercial with Trisket, so that was really fun. Yeah, it was super oh. cool. It was Trisket, yeah. That's dope. Yeah, yeah, dope as fuck. Yeah. It was really, really cool. Yeah, I had a good time. That's Those where I met Marlon. Those cool, too. Like, yeah, we filmed it. it, like, on a plate with a GoPro. That is so cool. So they just That's had a so GoPro creative, attached to the really plate. Cool. Yeah. Wow. It was really fun, but yeah, I'm kind of just, like, kind of more going into, like, UGC creation right now, just because that is... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the money is God, there. So it's, um, is it really? Yeah, it really that is. That is where the money. Yeah, the is. money is there. You don't have to have like a huge following to do it. No, you don't. And like, I do like trading. Like, I do too much shit. I need to sit my ass home. <laughs> that's what I need to do. No, but it's kind of just like finding your niche, finding what works, and I think yep. like that's kind of where I want to head off. And then mm-hmm. like, that's also like building up my in, you know, social medias, and then. Yes. They want someone with a big social media. There you go. You know. Mm-hmm. So just different, you got it. different ways. You got it. Different little ways to yeah. get my little you black got ass <laughs> But you're doing it though. I'm like, trying. Like, like, yeah. I'm trying. No, you I'm you doing have it. the giant. The thing that's dope is that you're super young. Mm-hmm. That you're the youngest one at the table, and you have all this training behind yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, like you are For fucking while. trained. Thank yeah. You. You're trained, Sounds and you're like fucking you. good, and you Thank look you. good too. Thank you. Like, and your energy, <laughs> like, yeah. your energy is dope, man. Destiny is dope. Going, as keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Keep grinding, man. That is yeah. What about you? What you got going? I know you mentioned some military shit. 
it to me before. Yeah, um, I'm going to go into the Air Force. I want So that's be, solidified. Mm-hmm, for sure. I want to go as an officer, uh, go into public affairs or international affairs, mm-hmm. then go back to school for my psychology degree because college is expensive. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be free after you do the yeah. military. Shit. Yeah, yeah I already got one of my. I already got a bachelor, so I was like, might as well. Mm-hmm. But before that, um, I did like a little goal for 2024. Um, I want to start my own little like workout Instagram because mm-hmm. yeah. I've been going to the gym a lot more, and then do something with Muscle horror mommy. movies. Like I love horror movies, so I think I want to do like something with that too. Okay. Let's do that shit. Let's. Uh, yeah. I know you mentioned to uh, to me before about ideas. I have ideas, and I would love to sit down yeah. with you and really like do some shit. I have this whole, I it's in here. <laughs> <laughs> I no, never, absolutely, yeah. Out this yeah. Uh, give me a little bit of time. I've, I've just been so busy. I wanted to write up characters and and then get uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, a story going. Yeah, I I started working on a different story. No, I when feel, I was supposed to work no, on. No, I have shit, about but. five different scripts at, mm-hmm. right right now, five or seven that th- they're like halfway done. It's just because your mind goes to different places. Yes, yes. And like you get these thoughts randomly. Like mm-hmm. I had one when I was out to eat, and I was like, "Oh fuck!" And then I was, and then I texted <laughs> my sister, and I was like, "Hey, write this down in like my book." And she's like, "All right." So it's just like yeah. it just mm-hmm. happens. That's so much respect. Y'all fuck with mushrooms, like the food, Mm-mm. like the drug, okay. like psilocybin. I've wanted to try, oh, no. and I have not. All right, we'll talk after the pop. Oh, oh my gosh, I have experience. But I, like, was with people, and, like, that was the first time I've seen, like, Coke in live action. In live action? I was, like, live as opposed to fake. I, I've never, <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I'm just, like, TV. TV. <laughs> like, I just, I've never, you know, well, Danny knows, I'm just never around, like, that She's kind of, like, She's and really I was, not. like, <laughs> like, what is going like, on? What's happening? <laughs> She's, like, <laughs> No, 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 you want some of this, girl? No. 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 I love no. them. I love them. Love them with my heart. I was like, damn, y'all wild. Y'all funny too, but no, no. I can't hang with that. Cocaine's not, not my thing. I don't like. Mm-mm. The only thing going in my nose is toilet paper in my fingers. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> my, finger. <laughs> my finger goes in there the most, believe it or not. So I'll be sitting at home, be, you know, oh. editing a video or some shit. And I'll just pop in there. And shit. <laughs> To see what's going on in here, no, you know, make know sure that. I'm helping you. Just see what's going <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> like, let me just. Oh, we good. All right, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Don't shake my hand. <laughs> Look at right. I think I shook his hand when I pulled up. <laughs> oh, I, I know. I gave you a hug. Stop. I'm a hug. I did you hug oh, no, with your hands. I walk. Yeah. All right, your hands. <laughs> you better not be picking your hands. You know when you're getting down. You know when you're getting down. Hell no. Hey, but no, I brought up mushrooms because when I when I fuck with mushrooms, I get the greatest ideas in my life really? like ever yeah ever. i don't do oh any my. type of drugs so, you don't acid? i don't know i fuck with weed and mushrooms that's it there you I go know. yeah, no. yeah I, I you know what do. i fuck with i fuck with nyquil like heavily <laughs> like to go to sleep i don't even like yeah. Tylenol or <laughs> just in that. general just like, to go to sleep <laughs> bitches and I'm hey. good night <laughs> hey destiny just come to the gym with me and i guarantee you will go to fucking sleep <laughs> Yeah. Said, After you leave, you're going to be like, God I'll be damn. with NyQuil. <laughs> the you DayQuil, the NyQuil, the TheraFlu, what you got. <laughs> She's like, I give me it all. I'll take it all. I'll take it all. She's like, thank you, let me just. <laughs> That's the NyQuil. She said, I fuck with NyQuil. <laughs> like, you just what about you? It? What you got coming next? Um, So I just had a short film that just, uh, that just, Released, just finished. Um, it's called 300. Shout out to... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shout out to Taylor Hutchinson. It's not that shit that YG be talking about, but it's 100 less. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> huh? I said I had a short film called 300. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I just it's had a mimosa. short film that right. It's the mimosa. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> that's the, the list. That's the it's thing. The it's the mimosa. <laughs> <laughs> so I just had that of uh, that short film release. I'm actually going to uh, post it later on this week. Shout out to Alec and Taylor. Um, they did an incredible freaking job. I don't know if you saw me post. I posted a little snippet on my story. I don't know if you saw it, but possibly. Uh, <laughs> but I have that um, going on. Um, I'm also going to be taking my first New York trip in April. We love New York. 
I'm taking my first New York trip in April to <laughs> um, to collaborate with a photographer and cinematographer. Shout out to Ashford Films and Black Canvas. Like they are so dope. Their work. Like so, I have my own website and I've been building up my portfolio, mm-hmm. which is different reels and you know film that I've done and photos. And their work is just incredible it's incredible um and i also got to say shout out to turbski i don't know if y'all know who that is he's all over social media but if it wasn't for him then i wouldn't even know who they were so mm-hmm. turp ski turb t-u-r-b s-k-e-e so funny he's a dude that's always on this lady porch <laughs> trying to get his woman back <laughs> But she don't want him. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, shit. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. But um, but yeah. So I got that going on in April, and then uh, Alec, the guy that worked on Three Hundred, he has a movie that's going to be coming out. <laughs> we're going to be working on a movie. It's called Neurosis. Uh, we're going to be we're going to film Neurosis. Oh, I know yeah. exactly what I you're talking about. I auditioned for that yeah. shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we talked about yeah, that. We, we did. talked about that. I was that. like, yeah. that says, that, I wanted yeah. that one. Yeah, that's, that's hey, going to be incredible. The role I auditioned for, that shit spoke volumes Who did you audition me. for? I forget the name of the homie, but it was <gasps> the dude that was suffering from PTSD, and he was the mm. dude that was rolling around in the car. Yeah, 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 yeah. I made it to like second and third cuts oh, on that motherfucker. And oh, I, it. I was like, motherfucker, oh. Leland motherfucking Mac, come oh. on, dog. <laughs> Yeah. Give me I'm a Mac. Give me a chance. Yo. I, was, hey, I was about to motherfucking destroy it. But you know, it's all good. I wish y'all the best. Like, <laughs> I, 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 I think anyway, it's going to be dope. Like, I think it's going to be dope. You know what? Maybe she I need to put a me. bug in his ear or something. Hey, bug that motherfucker. <laughs> I hit him up to get on uh, Talk Smack with Mac, too. Man, I got shout a out list. to him. I, got, I, I have a lot of people getting on, man. There's only yeah. so much time. But yeah. Yeah. The, the, hey. I think that movie is going to be dope as fuck. I connected so much to that, to the script. I've, yes. I've read it it's maybe good. like three or four times. <laughs> hey, the, the little bit that I read, yeah. I, actually, he sent me the whole shit. Oh, did he? He sent me the whole shit. That, that fucking yes. script is awesome, Yes, dude. he's a writer, yes. director, producer. Yeah. He's so talented. He m- makes his own music. Like, He's so dope. Um, the film that we were talking about before mm-hmm. we, you know, started filming about it's revolved around mental health. Yep. You know, mm-hmm. mental health awareness and the character that I play. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so it's this unhinged nurse, and mm-hmm. she's just first of all, she is a a made up character that the main character created in his mind. So I don't even exist, but she is a fucking savage. Like, the <laughs> fact that you don't exist, you can have so much you, that's fun what I'm with that saying. shit. Like Crazy. my imagination, like there's cause so we've done a couple of um interviews talking about the movie and you know, I would read up on the script and just refresh, you know, my knowledge on it and everything. And it's every time I read it, I I pick up on something new that I missed, Didn't you know, the pr- first previously. Time. And I'm like, that's good. Yo, that's so great, that's right? why yeah. I'm, oh, Shit. Yes. Like so, I, I gotta. I'm hey, I gotta get Lean Lean on the pod, yeah. bro, because he's he's phenomenal. You gotta pick his brain. He's, yes, you gotta for pick sure. his brain. So, sure. yeah, I got. You know, I got. I got a few things un, uh, up my sleeve, and you know, I'm also a content creator. Mm-hmm. I, you know, make all my. I do. I've, I I try to follow some of the trends because they say you know to get more traffic, it does yeah. help to follow the trends. But I just mm, yeah. go against you know, that motherfucking. I go against the grain. grain. I'm an Aquarius, so you know. <laughs> so, yeah. I didn't use you said, Go right, I go left. Sorry, it's about to be your birthday? When's your birthday? Oh, Valentine's Day. What? Shout out to all my Aquarians. That's my baby mama's birthday. Okay, shout out to baby mama. (laughs) Yeah, shout out to my baby mama. You're doing a good job. Co parenting at its finest, baby. There you go. There you go. Yeah, but I just had two videos recently that just went viral. And that shit was insane and freaking insane. Like, it's overwhelming. Like, every time I go into my Instagram or my TikTok, it's like 100, wow. 200 That's notifications. Amazing. So yeah. it's just like, I got to keep, keep, I gotta keep, keep going. going. Keep I going. found my niche. Yeah. So I make, um, I make office videos, you know, mm-hmm. just different things that a person who works in the office, what they go through. I work in the office. Huh? I'm an accountant. Are you? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Like an actual okay. one? An actual uh, okay. one? <laughs> like, for play uh, or for real? No. Uh, <laughs> I have my accounting degree. Oh, yeah. okay. shout out to you. And I like numbers. Okay, all right. Yes, you know, I don't we like don't. numbers. I no, stay no. away from that. Yeah. Yeah. So if you need yes. ideas, I'll let you know. Okay, for sure. I actually have a, 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 a story that I want to write Okay. based on the office. Nice. Uh, based off uh, the everyday, like, 
the reoccurring same thing every day. Mm. So you go to work, mm-hmm. you do the same thing, you say the same thing to every good morning good to morning. everybody, the same thing, mm-hmm. same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing, yeah. until he snaps. Yeah. And the homie just stands up and he starts killing everybody in the office. That is so fucking wild that you just said that because I came up with that very idea last yes. year. Yes. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Because it's real. Let's be, <laughs> ha- it's real. I live it. it- <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, hey, I, I walk in, I'm like, hey, good morning, Alexis. Right. I'm going to cut that bitch's head off later. Shit, fuck that Can't bitch. wait. You better not say good morning back, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> say good afternoon, motherfucker, right. and I'm about to it's cut your shit. It's 11.59 this afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. Still morning. <laughs> One, two. Yeah. 60 seconds. Yeah. Good afternoon, Levi. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Alexis. <laughs> Fucking bitch. <laughs> She's gonna watch this like, what the fuck did I do to you? Yeah, literally. Like, damn. I'm like, yeah, well, you got an attitude, easy money. Yeah. Skeet, skeet, skeet. Yeah. <laughs> but nah, I, I got some, I got some ideas, man. Yeah, I would yeah. love to, let's sit down, all of us. We let's got sit down to. and write some, talk to. about some shit. Yeah. I'm hearing a lot of a lot of the same things that I go through. Like you just said, you know, if an idea comes to you, you gotta write it down. Like you have to I, there's I, guess. I kid you not. I was half sleep. <laughs> That's when you get the best ideas. Girl, vivid, I was half vivid, vivid sleep ideas, yeah. And randomly an idea came to me and I woke up and I was like, <gasps> and I just grabbed my phone and I just started. Yep. I was yeah. like, before I lose it, before I lose it, shut up. No one say nothing. No. <laughs> Don't talk to me. Like, stop. Yeah. It gets like that though, you know? Mm-hmm. So yeah, so you know, I'm I'm out here doing my thing. No, yeah, all doing of y'all are thing. doing your yeah. thing, man. Yeah. Like, I'm a fan of all three of you. No, like, you. genuinely, that's like when you reached out to me to get on the pot, fuck yeah, I was already a fan because I we was at Joe's house watching yeah. the shit. I was like, oh, she's doing her thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been a fan of yours for mm-hmm. forever, man. I've asked you questions because yeah. I just think you're so awesome. Thank you. And when we, Danny, when you and I was talking in New York, when we were walking around and talking about horror movies and shit, I was like, ooh, she's really a fan. Like, I'm genuinely a fan of all three of you. And I really want to see all three of you prosper because, I like, I, I've too. seen yeah. the talent and I see the hard work and I see the uh, determination in all three of you. Mm-hmm. And it's just very uh, inspiring. Like, it's really like getting all of y'all on the pod just inspired yeah. me to yeah, keep going yeah. because it's so you two fucking right here, fun. Like, yeah, like, y'all are dope. <laughs> yeah. Y'all Thank are you. dope. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, man. It, it, it's fun as fuck, man. But um, I want to talk about ghost hunting. So I take my hats off to you. <laughs> like, yeah. We've been trying to plan ghost I know, hunting for a minute. Oh, I is know. that really a thing? Oh, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> Destiny, talk to her, girl. Do a pen and paper. Yeah, okay. 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 <laughs> yeah. So here's the thing. Me and my two really, really best friends, their name is Anna and Adriana. We would all like go to Anna's house and watch like ghost videos. Okay. Right? And one day Anna's like, why don't we just do it? And me and Adriana are like, sure, fuck it. Why not? (laughs) No balls. We'll do it. (laughs) And so, like, you know, we started doing it, and we made a YouTube channel. It's called Halftime Ghost Hunters because we have jobs. Right. So we do it half That's time. Gangster. <laughs> that is fucking so clever and gangster. Yeah. That's cute though, to be honest. I yeah, like that. It's yeah. It's like three little girls going ghost hunting, you know? Just girly stuff. By We're day, going, I work in the going office. Ghost hunting. By night, I, I hunt <laughs> ghosts. <laughs> I'm a badass by night. I'm a bad yeah. bitch. Like, right. 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 I'm a bad bitch. Bad like, bitch. Put me in the next ghost hunters because Don't I'm just that yeah. motherfucker. I think like our biggest inspiration, well, at least mine, was like Sam and Colby. Like oh, I, we yeah. used to watch them like Super religiously. Cool. I yeah. still do. Mm. But um, yeah. So I don't like, even we, know who the fuck that is? Sam they're ghost Colby? hunters. Yeah, Sam oh, and Colby. Funny as well. Yeah, they wow. live here. Oh, these are real people. Oh, yeah, yeah. of course you know. Danny knows. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, they're so great. Yeah. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> We're sitting there like, oh, I don't know. Who the fuck <laughs> All right, go. Yeah, off. I mean, I've had like some pretty crazy experiences. I would say. I think the first place we went to was Binion's on uh, Fremont Street. Yeah, that place is haunted. Yeah. That place is haunted. Uh, that shit took me for a fucking loop. Because, like, we were there for easily, like, a two hours. And Anna's kind of, like, the bold one. I'm bold, but I'm not going to buck up with a ghost. Like, I know oh, my place. No. And Adrian, <laughs> that's, that's not, not it. That goes back to what I asked earlier. How do you buck up on a ghost? <laughs> like, you don't. I got you my don't. diamond. You I got leave. Leave. You, you leave. leave. Right. You don't. And Adriana, she's kind of like the... She's like, just do it. Ballsy just do one. It. She's the ballsy she's, one. She's the pusher. She's like, just, just do it. You oh, know, like, wait, hold it's on. for the video. Hey, is she the pusher or is she the pusher and the ballsy one where she'll do it too? She won't do it. Bad I'm, mother I have to do bro. it. <laughs> she's like, oh, just do it. It's fine. I'm like, a girl. <laughs> you do it. 
<laughs> but yeah, like we went to Binion's and we have cat balls or like cat toys yeah. and they light up. So you have to touch them in order for them to light up. Mm-hmm. So we place them around the room. <laughs> shut up. Levi, just shut <laughs> up. You're about to say some slick shit. I know. Shit. Pour the drink. <laughs> drink your drink. Hey, drink your mouth up. I was just going to say it might be to the next one. That's not We haven't been shit. in a while. <laughs> I want my motherfucking white up cat balls. That is not what she was saying. <laughs> liar. Right. Cat. I promise you. Cat. Liar. I, prom- I promise you. Hey, you know if I'm going to talk shit, I'm going to talk shit. What's the right, name right. of the show? Not- I'm going to talk right. my shit. shit. Stop it. Yeah, like we were there. Nothing was happening. Anna was like, just do something, bitch. Do something, you bitch. fucking bitch. <laughs> Wait, like, saying that to the ghost or to yeah. you? Was, to the ghost. I was like, Anna, shut the fuck up. What the fuck is wrong with no, you? No, that's how you roll them up. I was like, oh, hell no. We finna die. <laughs> and then Adriana was just like, please come. This bitch ass ghost ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> All we had, they were like scattered across the room, like you know, the nightstand. Mm. One was on the farthest mm. bed, and then one was like on the table. You're Adri- talking about the cat balls? Yeah. Okay. So gotcha. Adriana was sitting at the table. I was kind of on the ledge where they keep like the AC, mm-hmm. and Anna was on the bed closest to me. Somebody said something, and all three of those bitches went off at the same time. I dropped the camera and I ran out the door. Period. And like, then, yeah, straight there we do. Do. And they were like, "Where are you going? Leaving? Hey, Leaving? The, what are you? What about like a thermocline or some shit came in, hit all of them at the same time? No, you don't fuck with ghosts. <laughs> no, no. I, I'm just thinking of logical reasons well, on why thing. all three went we off. We were all because I'm a skeptic for sure. Yeah, obviously. I, I, think, <laughs> I, 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 be, I believe in ghosts, but I know 99.999 percent yeah. is bullshit. Some of it is, I'll but like with everything. that specifically, like you have to touch those because they're yeah. cat toys. Yeah, right. Like they're not just gonna start blinking. But like. what about what a what a. Like, what a <laughs> they're touched. What is that you blowing? Yeah, no. no. <laughs> and there's no AC in the room. Like we turn the AC off so you can hear the video. Like in so Binion's there was no is, logical. Yeah, Binion's is old. Like right. Yeah. Yeah. Like they don't even got AC. Yet. They had it, but the shit wasn't working. <laughs> Shut that back. Very small oh, room. AC. <laughs> very weird things. Like we were here in Knoxville. We like you know that could be anything. Right. For all three of them to go off at the same time and be That's located something. in That's... different places. That's why. And that was like our first one ever. That freaked me out. I dropped the camera screaming for my life. She and said, I lied. <laughs> and they're like, come back, come back. I said, no. No. <laughs> no. Like, what do you mean? No. Why would I come back? She said, no, bitch, it's a ghost. <laughs> like, like, yeah, what the fuck? And then, like, of course, we kept going. Like, we've been to the Flamingo. <laughs> we've been to the Luxor. The Luxor one, we should have never did that one. So uh, at the time, I was a nanny. And, like, my only day. Oh, yeah, girl. It's demonic in that bitch. That bitch. <laughs> the Luxor all and Circus Circus. Those downtown. ones are the, the crazy ones. So at the Luxor, I was a nanny and I only had Sundays off. So we went on a Sunday. That Sunday happened to be Easter. Bad idea. Wasn't thinking. Terrible wasn't idea. Wasn't thinking at all. We knew this place was eh, okay? Mm. Instantly, eh. eh. Yeah. Uh, not ick. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, it's a difference. That's why I had to clarify. <laughs> Instantly, like, just bad things were, like, popping up on, like, our equipment. Mm-hmm. Like, demonic things. And, like, usually what happens, how you know it's demonic is it'll start talking about the Bible and it'll start to talk about mm-hmm. God and Christ. That's how you know it's demonic because they want you to say, like, oh, like, God isn't real, yada, yada, yada. I'm sorry, when you say it talks about, what, are, what is the it? Mm-hmm. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't call it a spirit. I'd call it like a negative entity. A hater. They're because talking. Hater. Mm-hmm. So we have like devices. Um, you do like the EMF method where you take. So like a you radio. heard shit back for real. Yeah, or like you we'll got use feedback. A, mm-hmm. yeah. Like we'll do or use them on our phones. I like we have first, a whole bunch of stuff. Real. I have like the dowsing rods that go in and out. Yeah, those she are got cool. that yeah. shit, girl. I'm yeah. telling you, that's why I brought it up. <laughs> I am terrified. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> and like I am a wholehearted. Christian, I love Jesus, and I had to set the tone because, like, it was like I was in in a chair and I was sitting behind like the armoire, and it's and we were like it was like the first thing it's saying it's demon, bad, evil, get out, and Adriana is like, where are you? And it says the closet. I said, oh, what the fuck? Why are you <laughs> behind me? Why the fuck are you behind? Like, no, go away. Mm. And then it says, open the closet. I looked at both of them and said, Why you fuckers oh, open this goddamn closet? We finna fight. <laughs> I'm like I'm not opening the closet. I'm not opening the closet. And then it That's says That's what you came to do though. I don't, Open I, don't, that I don't come to play with demons. <laughs> you ain't lying. That's shit. a whole nother But level. that that was the point. No, no. no. That was the fucking point. Not right? demons. No, right? ghosts, not ghosts, demons. Ghosts, not demons. Ghosts. <laughs> 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 difference. 
Okay. There's a big difference. So, the right. real thing that like spooked me was You're it looking said, for the good ones. Is yeah, it? you know the nice ones. I was looking for anything that said anything back. <laughs> no. You know? That's, That's dangerous. Up. That is dangerous. That's what I hear something. Hey, what up? Yeah. What up? No. What the, <laughs> <laughs> the thing that like yeah. really like I had to like stop us and like put this motherfucker back in his place was a set stigmata. What is that? Exactly. Uh huh. Exactly. Remember, Sestic this is mata. Easter. This is Easter. And it says stigmata. Spell that shit two so times. we looked at sh- <laughs> 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 So we look up the word. We're like, what the fuck is stigmata? Stigmata is the scars that Jesus had when he was crucified. Oh shit. Okay. Good I night. said, Good wrap night. it on up. I said, I'm not doing this shit no more if you're gonna keep talking about no. the Bible, no. demonic things. I'm not doing it. Hey, and that's then, when you know some shit is real. It's like, I don't even know what you're asking right now. And then you look it I up. Was, it's like, ooh, that's I was like, what the fuck. fuck is a stigmata? Yeah, yeah. I was like, how is a demon smarter than me? You I aren't mean, even here. I'm the smartest motherfucker here, and I don't know <laughs> so, what this is. What the fuck is this? Are you talking <laughs> oh, we got to go, y'all. This motherfucker is too much. <laughs> yeah. And then it started bringing up the Quran and the Torah. Oh, no. I said, no. I'm leaving. I'm not participating. Y'all can keep going. I'm going to sit my ass in this chair and stay in this chair. I'm not, I'm not doing it. So the Luxor is crazy. And then, like, the, fling, the flamingo is cool. Like, I got called a, a whore from a ghost. So like, it's not that the H word that we, it's a W. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't like Fuck me. That bitch. I was like, wow. They did what? They didn't like me because I was black. And I was like, you a racist ass ghost. That's why you did. Because, <laughs> oh, like, when, like, the flamingo, you have to think back, like, who stared at the flamingo? That's true. The mob. Well, they, that, that, was, that was the question I was going to ask. Yeah. Is before you go do these ghost the hunts, research. do you do your due diligence and mm-hmm. say, okay, this person died, or, yeah. you know, these are potential yeah. people that wow. were trying to talk to you? Yeah, you okay. have to do something. We went to. Uh, it's just racist fucks at Tropicana. That's why they turned this shit down, building a baseball stadium. It's crazy. Like, we went to Bali's, and, like, sometimes I just don't think. Bali's is on it, too? Well, Bali's used to be MGM. Okay. And earlier, I, it could be the 40s. I could be wrong. MGM caught on fire. Uh, yep. Yep. Yeah. Mm. And then a whole uh, people died. There's a mm. lot of people Damn. who died. Damn. And <laughs> Like Kevin Hart. Damn. Exactly. <laughs> and, like, that, that one was kind of crazy. Like, I was sitting on, like, the dresser, and I was like, oh, my feet are cold. I was like, this is weird, whatever. And I was like, where are you? And the dowsing rods pointed at my feet. <gasps> I said, oh, right here. <laughs> oh, I'm sitting on a ghost. I said, I'm so sorry, sir. Please don't. You should have said, me. yeah, bow down, bitch. No, no I didn't. And like, I was like, oh, should we like, because I had a lighter. I was like, you want me to start a fire? <laughs> I was I'll like, oh, shit. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was like, I forgot y'all kind of died by fire. Please forgive me. Oh, shit. That's what oh, I was saying. Like, like, oh, shit. Hey, I'll, I'll get a bucket. You want a bucket realize. of water? I was like, my bad, my bad. <laughs> I didn't realize until it was he too said late. I'll get a bucket. <laughs> But yeah, like you've had some crazy, 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 <laughs> crazy you, what experiences. You need, man? I was like, oh no! Like there was one that really liked me. Like it, I would go across the room and like it would like follow it liked me. Liked you? Liked you? Yeah, like it was like friend. Ooh. Did you like it? Oh, friend. no! Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you like it? Yeah. <laughs> there was like friend. Like, You're yeah. my friend. She's like, I'm pulling spirits, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Look, I'm such a bad bitch. I'm pulling spirits. That lie don't even matter. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's crazy. He was like, You're my friend. You're my friend. I was like. We are not friends. And like anywhere I kind of went in the room, like he followed me. (laughs) It was crazy. It was real crazy. And like Adriana was like, get in the closet. Get in the closet. Girl, what the fuck? Get in in the the closet. closet. That's why I said you get in the closet. Yeah. She was like, if you if you really like her, slam the closet door. I said, if this closet door slams, I swear for God. Swear for God. I'm I'm hitting everybody. I'm punching everybody. And it didn't happen. Then we asked. She was like, oh, did you not close the closet? Because Destiny was scared. He was like, yeah. I was like, oh, you really want <laughs> hey, so, let me. Are you in a specific room based on Just, research? Uh, or? yeah. Like we try okay. to find like haunted hotel rooms, like the Circus Circus. We went to specifically because one of their security guards, he was a really big Samoan guy, and one night he went into the hall. Was like he was like, "There's something wrong with this room." Like I keep hearing noise. No one was in the room, right? Mm. And so he went in the room, and then like two seconds later, I don't know, like every detail but essentially he got pinned up against the wall like he got thrown up huh? he's like a hey, huge we know Samoans guys yeah. 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 hey we're, we're living in Vegas we know Samoans yeah. they're some right. big motherfuckers like, he's he got at least like, three bills pinned up thrown up against the wall he was by himself what and mm. then the next day he quit 
I don't blame him. Like, his big oh. ass ain't supposed to move like that. Right. Hell yeah. He's yeah. Gonna quit. yeah. Like, he said Chevron is hiring for a motherfucking <laughs> I'm a cashier. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. I I'm fuck this. Yeah. But that stuff is real. Like, you have to be very careful on what you invite. So yeah. then let me ask you. Mm-hmm. So do you think that there is a difference between a ghost and a spirit? Um, I don't These questions, think questions, bro. You there's... might as well be the host. <laughs> <laughs> I think ghosts and spirit are kind of like one in one. I feel like mm. ghosts is more mainstream. Mm-hmm. You know, like, oh, it's a ghost. Mm-hmm. You know, but I feel like a spirit is like someone who died who can't move on. Because it sounds like y'all was fucking with spirits. Yeah. I <laughs> Yeah. I would like ghost hunter. Yeah. But I would. It's more so like a spirit. Oh, and like you can tell yeah. the difference. You can instantly feel the energy in the room. Mm. Hey, you would know? you ever go to like. You know, if you're traveling, a lot of the times there's like abandoned houses or a bound, uh, mm-hmm. abandoned something, mm-hmm. like um, boarded up and shit. You about to go check that out? I would. I would. I would. I'd yeah. be scared as fuck. I'd be scared. Yeah. yeah. But I think I'd do it. I would do it. I, I would have to for a long do my time, though. <laughs> yeah. I think. Hey, you could tell me there's, yeah. there's no, like, nothing has ever happened here. And if I go pop that motherfucking window up and jump inside, <laughs> I'm gonna be scared as fuck. Yeah. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> well, like, here's the thing, like, Spirits and entities, or whatever you want to call them, they can move from place to place. Yeah, they have. How like, so? So I thought they're usually bounded to a certain place. Some something. Some spirits are. Yes. They they cannot move on until they like complete something or whatever mm-hmm. the case. They can't based move on their on. death. Exactly. Or mm-hmm. Ba- mm-hmm. Based on why why they're still mm-hmm. here and Most haven't moved time. on. So are we talking okay. about purgatory? Sort of. You okay. can call it that. Yeah. But purgatory is more of a place, yeah? Yeah. It is, yeah. And they don't necessarily know that they're dead. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like some of, a lot of them are like, we'll ask Continue them the living, year. Or lost. The show yeah. Lost. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Perfect mm-hmm. example. Yes. Well, like, oh, what's the year? They're like, oh, it's 1974. Like they like, only like, remember. Nah, yeah. it's, it's 05. Yeah. Uh, like stop. they only remember like when they died. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's as far as their memory will go. Mm-hmm. And so, like, when it comes to, like, them going to different places, like, some entities mm-hmm. can mm-hmm. go from place to place to place to place. That's why it's it's a dangerous. Like, you have to be careful. That's I don't fuck with a Ouija board. Absolutely no, not. Never. Because it's, 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 it's real. Hey, we I done do a Ouija board and that motherfucker. Hey, I did it with a girl one time when I was in high school and she was moving some shit. And I was like, I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about right now. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, that's my, grandma's, that's my grandma's real. name. She died. I was like, oh, okay. Like, I didn't even know. <laughs> You must yeah. have did that shit because yeah. I didn't even know her name. You know what yeah. I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. You have to be careful. Like, you can, even if you say, like, you can be so generic with it. Be like, we Whoop invite any spirit here. You can. Oh, anything. so, so, no, I'm never inviting shit. Well, that's, you kind of have to. <laughs> you have to. You have to invite to them in order to do something. You got to do yeah. a damn thing. So, essentially, yeah. like, what so, you do. So. <laughs> hey, I don't know about y'all, but, like, us white people, we don't. <laughs> Listen, that's your sport. Us black people. Daddy's like, no, it's usually us. Us black people, we don't do that. I'm not fully white, though. Like, y'all, got, y'all keep saying I'm, like, white, white. What you mix with? I'm Mexican, Indian, talent, and Native American. Oh, so, okay. Like, she ain't okay. even white. She's she just light-skinned. She ain't invited. She's she just light-skinned. Yeah, no. All right, so, like, like are, stop my people. Stop putting me in that bubble with that. Hey, hey, that's not me. I just look like it. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nah, nah. Crazy. See, that's yeah. why I get, even though I love... Annabelle, Conjuring, movies like that. Like, mm-hmm. I'm terrified mm-hmm. because real. that shit is real. Mm-hmm. Based on real stuff. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like Sam and Colby, the people, I like to watch them mm-hmm. a lot. They spent seven days in the Conjuring house. <gasps> yeah, literally. Oh, that shit had me fucked up, I think. And like oh. the third episode, at the bottom of, like they're in the basement. That's kind of where everything happens is the basement. That's where yeah. they keep the crazy shit, right? Yeah. So they walk up the stairs and in the bo- very bottom of the, corner of the stairs you can see like a head pop up and oh. it goes back down and like <laughs> and i mean does how do we di- diversify what's fake what's real that's a good question they are very good at not editing things to seem fake yeah. it's not like zach baggins they, they have most i know of their but footage i'm just saying continuous. like yeah most of their footage like, is raw continuous. like you can tell when it's raw and i'm gonna have to not. go to this motherfucking house let's go <laughs> The Conjuring House, Connecticut. Yeah, we can drive. Baby, baby steps drive. first. Baby steps right. like first. I know. That's yeah. Actually, well, yeah, because you can tell when a uh, uh, footage mm-hmm. has been cut. You know, yeah, you can tell. There's jump cuts. Yeah, yeah. Stuff I know, editing. exactly. But come on, these days, like, yeah. with as good as like editing as shit is, 
It could be set up. But a lot not, of the time with the, is. It, it but not be. with yeah. a, a, a continuous rolling. Yeah, because they're yeah, How much up money is behind this shit? You know oh, what I'm saying? they make a lot To of money. make it not look like it was yeah. cut? Really? Is the technology no, how much, that advanced? Like, <laughs> hey, what if you get a really good you. actor to like, hey, go play this motherfucker. He's just like, ah. <laughs> like what? And like, they what? were like, uh, we're like, oh my god! Did you see what he did? What he do? Bad. <laughs> you know? It's like, Dracula man, I'm calling shit. bullshit. Ah, oh, man, I'd have to see it. I feel like yeah, I'm I really good. It. No, I gotta be there. I have to be in the fucking house. Okay, well then you call me. You tell me what happened. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not going. I got you. Mm-mm-mm-mm. I got you. I That's ain't going. going. I ain't going. <laughs> She's I like, don't... I got my little wands. And we're about to no. be like, where the girl said? No. Some places uh, I just don't go. Y'all stay over there, I'm going to be over here. <laughs> some places I will not go and some things I will not Mm-mm. talk to. You say I what? Wanna... Say that again? Some places I will not go and some things I will not talk to. No. Yeah. You kind of have to like, you have to be like the authority. You have to have a cutoff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like mm-hmm. Adriana, she used to live in this house. This was honestly like before we even started ghost hunting and I had to like go outside and pray. I was like, oh, hell no. Yeah. So she used to live in this house. And she would always tell me, she's like, oh, there's something in my house. But, like, the dog likes to bark at the middle of the night, yada, yada. I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, girl, whatever. What the fuck? <clears throat> Never took her seriously. So one day, this first time I'm going to her house, and I shit you not, I step, like, my foot's in the door, half of my other foot's out the door, and my back instantly starts hurting. Mm. Like, my lower back. Period. started. Like, that's what I was like, damn, like, what the fuck is going on? I'm like, I just drove here. I was fine. I walked through the door, and I'm in pain. <laughs> You're Yo, <laughs> I would have preferred it be that. Damn. Right, right. right. <laughs> and like, I am in excruciating pain. Like, it feels like is someone is like pulling out like my fucking discs in my back. Ooh. And like, I had to step outside. I was like, oh, I'm going to step outside. Like, I left something in my car. Mm-hmm. I was praying the blood of Jesus over me like no other. I was like, I don't know what the hell's in this house, but it cannot attach to me. Right. Because no. it will. That's, that's the first sign of attachment is lower back pain. Mm-hmm. Oh. Really? Yeah. So if something is trying to attach to you, it targets you. So what? They jump on your back? Like, on that's fine. Trying to <laughs> yeah. That, that and like the central marks. nervous system. Yeah. The, like, like the three marks. Mm-hmm. Like it's another big. Yeah. One. Like oh. a lot of times they'll scratch. If they don't like you, they'll scratch you, or they'll make you feel the pain they felt when they died. Yeah. So a lot of the places we go, yeah, that's, that's some like hater ass right motherfuckers, right mm-hmm. bro. It's like yeah, going like that. Yeah. They'll scratch you. They'll. Some people get pushed down the stairs, like. They're violent. Yeah, they mm. are. So, what does um, he mean? They just angry. <laughs> would you would you ever think about writing a script? I know we did that uh, character class together, and the script that you wrote was fucking awesome. I have no, I have no okay. comment on that. I, I would love, I would love to see it. You know, again. Um, but I think yeah. it was, what you wrote, and I was sitting there and I was listening and I was seeing how it was going. You're a crazy motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and I would love for you to continue writing more. Yeah, I think a lot of like what I like strive to write for is stuff that I want to play. Yeah. I want to be in. So yeah. like I love any like psychological horror crazy ass shit. Like I if this you. bitch is twisted, yeah. I listen to a lot of podcasts where it's like murders or a lot I watch a lot of things that typical have to do with woman serial shit. killers. Literally today, I'm Just watching the crowded room. Out. I'm like, oh, I gotta go to Levi's thing. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to go grab my knife. <laughs> but like, I, I like find things that like I would want to play. Like what I wrote, I wanted to play a character like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So like, kind of things like that. But like, you should have auditioned for Neurosis. I feel like I saw it, but I probably have. like scrolled past. I was like, this is. I was like, mm, big word. <laughs> <laughs> big word <don't> <laughs> She said it's the N word and I don't like those. (laughs) Not for me. You were funny for that. She said big word. Mm, No. She said nope. Not for me. (laughs) But yeah, I don't know. It's 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 fun. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, Not man. The ghost hunting thing. That's scary. I know. I ghost hunting is terrifying. Though, I feel like I'm still like you're still waiting. We're still waiting. Yeah. Hey, know. let's plan a day. Let's go do some shit together when it warms up a little bit. Maybe yeah. like maybe like March, April, my birthday time, I'm down. Uh, motherfucker. Okay. Let's go yeah. like get weird, man. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. I want to get weird. Get scared. <laughs> let's go. I'm gonna like, see if I can weird. find like the staircase video because like I when staircase you, to heaven. That's the only staircase I'm going on. <laughs> that's not Hawaii. I've heard that. I've heard that. <laughs> like, <laughs> I didn't even realize it, like, when I was watching the video until, like, other people started pointing it out. Okay. 
Let's so see. it's really quick. There's music, okay. music in the background? I'm turn the audio down so you don't get copyrighted. Yeah, it's YouTube. Yeah. So That'd this is dramatic. the stairs, okay? <laughs> right? Say it. So is this is like the, the very dramatic. end of the staircase. What? This True. Is boys. This is uh, Colby. Sorry, that's Sam, and this is Colby. Not at Lodi. <laughs> so just like keep. It's not going to mm. pop out. I'm sorry. <laughs> we might have to watch downstairs. Okay. So did you see it? No. I ain't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> so look closely. Look very closely. Look at his leg. Oh! You see it? Shit! Did you really <laughs> see something? I mean, yeah. Are like, you I doing it for the camera? Look that, but it looked good. Okay. Look at the. It's gonna keep playing. So look at the the bottom of his pants leg. Okay. The bottom of his pants. Yeah. Leg. Look closely. You'll see it. Just keep it. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah, like it's, something like no. it's, it's like, like hey, <laughs> oh, there's people there. Let me, let me, let me, let, let me go. No. <laughs> no, yeah, no. Like I haven't seen any like full figures, but like you can feel when they're there. What's wow. crazy though? Speaking of figures and stuff, like, like so when my sister was younger, mm -hmm. um, our youngest sister passed away after birth, and she was the middle ch child. Her name was Alyssa. And I think my sister was like eight or nine and she was like in her room giggling and blah, blah, blah. And my mom's like, oh, you know, she's just playing. And then oh, she's geez. like, well, why are you laughing? And she's like, Alyssa's here. And she said, excuse me? Because mm. she hasn't brought up Alyssa to her at all. Nope. I would and have. she's like, yeah, she's right here. And she pointed. <gasps> Mm -hmm. And like Pointed. dead as I think she crazy. I think she can see like she mm -hmm. sees like apparitions and stuff and mm -hmm. figures and all that. And she's like, I don't know, like, what to do with it. And I'm like, yeah. girl, we're going to make a YouTube channel. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> no, it's What else true. can you see, yeah. baby? Let me like, see. Like, like, we're going to make a yeah. YouTube channel. Yeah. Like, like, when you have kids and they tell you they're seeing something, I would believe them. Yeah. Kid, yes, they're because so kids innocent. can see. Yes, yes. They, they, like they, don't, they, they don't understand see. what yeah. taking yeah. advantage of or yeah, lying exactly. or anything. They're like, yes. oh, this is my imaginary friend, Carl. Well, Carl can't stay here. Right. He got to go. Carl got to go. Who you, you see grandma. <laughs> no, you don't. You said Carl got in a car crash when you were oh, drunk. Hell hell you no. Listen, babies Why is that Carl are here? They, want, like, mm. maybe like two and under, if you staring at something a little too long or if you staring <laughs> at me or another person for too long. You start Let's go. giggling in the what, corner. What are you oh, looking no. at? We're so in a funny? hotel room tonight because yeah. I ain't got time mm -mm. for this shit. Same thing with animals. They see that oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, they see it. Mm. So mm -hmm. you need to listen. Yep. Yeah. Pay attention yeah. and be aware. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, thank you. No, thank you. Well, ladies, I appreciate yes. y'all, man. Yes, thank you, sir. Like, this is such a great time. I knew <laughs> so. it was going to be a good time getting y'all together, man. All of y'all have uh, uh, amazing perspectives and opinions on what acting is mm -hmm. and what the grind is. Yeah. It takes fucking time, man. Yeah. It takes time. Like you say, you needed you needed to take some time away mm -hmm. to get your mental clarity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so warranted and needed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because if you're not mentally clear of uh, mentally clear, how are you gonna perform and be another person? Exactly. There you yeah. go. Because you're you're bringing baggage. Go ahead. Yeah, I think a lot of it was I was going to school every day. Mm. And I didn't have a break. Even New York. I was even there longer. And I kind of lost. I was like, why am I here? Why right. am I doing it? I lost my drive. I lost my passion. I felt stuck. Like, oh, you're stuck. I'm like, no, I don't get stuck. Yeah. There's something wrong. I was burnt out. Mm -hmm. And like now that I'm like, okay, like I've taken like three, four months. Mm -hmm. I now know that I still want to do it. And I feel like that's kind of where it can, the lines can get blurred yes. with certain people. Yes. Because if all you do is eat, breathe and live acting you're gonna get burnt you out. You are gonna done. get burnt out. What yeah. life experiences do you yeah. have to put into your acting? And you can't just take one's emotion, like, "Oh, your mom died." I'm gonna borrow that for a second. That's not how that works. No. Yeah, you know. Absolutely. So I think like me taking this break was like a big Need like. It. Yeah, I was like, I I damn near hate all y'all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I blow this Bye. bitch up. <laughs> <laughs> Period. <laughs> I, like, I gotta go. It's hard to see y'all motherfuckers every like, day. I have to go before something gets ugly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But yeah. Like, yeah, now I'm excited to like go back and be like, oh, okay, I can breathe. I feel like myself. I can like dedicate myself to a character. And I know I'll crush it because that's what I do. I yeah. took toot hey, my own horn. No, toot that motherfucker, girl. Toot it. Yeah. Toot, toot it. motherfucker. <laughs> because I promise you, man, mm -hmm. you are the shit. Thank you. Thank you. You are the shit. Thank you. And I don't want you to ever stop. Yeah. If you need your little break, because mm -hmm. this is a, a ever journey that we are mm -hmm. on. 
Take your little three, four yeah. months, girl. Yeah. And then get right back to yeah. it. Right. And, and it ain't I will motherfucking nowhere. send you auditions if you need yeah. them so you could go and show who the fuck you are. Yeah. <laughs> because, yeah. Of, like I said, man, I'll reiterate, I'm a fan of each and every Thank one of you. you. If I was not a fan of y'all, I would not have you in my house on my show. Mm. Period. That's true. Yeah. So, yeah, it, if you get burnt out, take a break. Mm. It's about the journey anyway. Yes. And it took me a, a minute to really understand that because I had a... I had an idea or a plan in my head. I'm like, okay, I'm going to get this promotion at work. I'm going to work in this corporate office. And within like a year, I'm going to be on set booked and busy every day. Mm -hmm. And then when it didn't happen, it's like... Mm -hmm. Let me let me recalibrate so, and see right. how the fuck this like, works. <laughs> why am I still here? It's, it's right. a lot of the same thoughts, you know, and, you know, downplaying myself and everything like that. But it's not, it's not about the ending result it's about the, the journey, journey. Mm -hmm. just enjoy Freeze. the ride enjoy 100%. the ride because yeah. you when you when you're focused on the end result you miss out on so much on everything 100%. on everything on yeah, everything. other opportunities mm -hmm. you overlook opportunities the successes the failures yeah. exactly. the everything in between exactly. because exactly. you're thinking of the end goal of yes. hey I want to be rich I want to be famous mm -hmm. I want to be successful all I want to be the guy all yeah. that's going to come with oh, it oh man ride it ride the wave yes. take your breaks we need to take our base yeah. because it's, it's a lot it's hard it's a lot Actually, it's not easy it's not it's not so yeah like yeah. i i'm full supporter of Thank taking you. breaks yeah. mm -hmm. your mental health Take is the most down. important thing mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. You can't be nothing for nobody else if you're not for yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. preach. Yeah. Man, one hundred percent. You know, I I just wanna end this podcast with all of y'all. Keep grinding. Mm -hmm. Keep grinding. And let's help each other though. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because at, at the end of the day, none of us look the same. None of us mm -hmm. act the same. None of us bring the same energy to a set or a character. Right. Yeah. So instead of hating on one another like mm -hmm. Vegas is known to do, let's right. come together, let's mm -hmm. work together and help each other out. Yeah. Because as this industry starts to boom, we don't want these motherfucking Brad, Brad Pitts and Angelina Jolie's right. and the Margot Robbie's and the Will Smith's and all these motherfuckers that continue getting the roles. No, we want us to get them. Yeah. Yeah. This is our backyard. This is up to us to mm -hmm. take over this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. yeah. But we also have to establish a standard that we are not lazy workers. Yes. Mm -hmm. We show up to set on time ready to fucking work and we are prepared. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And each and every one yeah. of you are yeah. that. Thank you. So let's keep it pushing. Yeah, Absolutely. let's do it. Get yeah, shit man. done. Yeah. Hey, yeah. one thing I do is anytime I have a brand new person get on the podcast, I give them a little bit of time where I sit the fuck back and I stop talking for once. <laughs> and I, I give y'all the opportunity to let people know what you have coming next, what we haven't touched on, or if they want to follow you on social media, anything like that, that's your time. And we will start with you and go around. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So again, my name is Chandra White. Uh, I... I am an actress and content creator. I do have my own little series that I'm carrying. It's called I Love My Job. Um, it's more sarcasm, <laughs> sarcastic, you know, humor. Uh, even though I say I love my job, it's like I hate it. But mm -hmm. <laughs> it brings comedy, originality, you know, authenticity. And I think it's so dope. Um, you know, my my Instagram is underscore Chandra White. My TikTok, which both Instagram and TikTok are growing. My TikTok is Chan Mill. That's M-I-L-L-E. So, you know, just 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 stay up to date and what I have going on. I also have my own website that I created last year. I'm continuously updating it with different work. And <laughs> I see you. <laughs> you work it, girl. I'm trying not I'm to work on that. I got my own website. It's called She uh, She Who Shines. Um, so make sure you, you do. Yes. You <laughs> make sure you check that out. Um, I am CKW dot com. Um, I'm 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 here and I'm here to stay and I'm all about elevation and growth. And if you on that same wave, you can come with me. So yeah, I'm gonna get on that motherfucker. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so my name's Danielle Patton, or everyone calls me Danny, doesn't matter. Um, actress, model, award winning director. Um, I specialize in color correction and photography. And my Instagram is Danielle underscore M underscore Patton underscore. And then in my bio is Dwarf Star Films, so that's my production company. And I am currently working on Overworked and Undead, which I'm going to turn into a TV series, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Yes. No, you're, you're going to do that. that. You're, you're going to do that. Do it, you're going to do Let's that. Go. Yeah. And I finally got booked for a big commercial. And I'm so excited. And I cannot wait. Just going to keep growing my resume. My website's almost done. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, my little studio is almost done that I made in Summerlin with my friend Val. Mm-hmm. So shout out to her. So come on, Danny. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, yeah, my name is Destiny Black. My Instagram is Destiny Black, B L A C Q U E. Yeah, a little, okay. little different, a little spice. Okay. A little spicy. Cool. <laughs> little spice. A little if you want to do some real research, you can look up Torian Black. That is my grandfather. Mm. Hill Street Blues for mm-hmm. your oldies out there. Okay. It's not a diss. It's a respect. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, like right now, I think my biggest thing that I'm working on is just self-growth, self-love, self-improvement. Stay in the church, y'all. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Without him, none can be done. He's the way, the truth, and the life. I have to, I have to, I have to rep my God. There you go. Yeah. There you yeah, go. Because he God. comes first. Yeah. Oh, 100%. God. I'll drop all y'all. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> he said no. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I it. He said no. <laughs> but yes, I'm always free to do collabs and stuff. I love working with Vegas locals mm-hmm. and just networking. I love, love networking. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Levi, what about you? Come on. Come on. <laughs> we can't forget Levi. Yeah. Right, right. I'm the host, man. Say the man. best for last. Say the best yeah, for all last. Yeah, all, all of y'all know what I'm doing. Just the talk smackers that are watching this. <laughs> yeah. this remind this. us. Remind what us. What is this again? Yeah. No, <laughs> man, I, I just had the pleasure of being in L.A. Undercover, too. That was my first time going to, you know, out of town to film something. Mm-hmm. So I got to go to L.A. and I got that experience to be on set. And I saw all the all the different sets in, in the building. And it was such a fucking magical experience. Awesome. And I was around a couple actors that's been doing the thing for a while. And the energy that they brought to the motherfucking set, mm. I felt like I had to match. Mm. Oh, and it was so magical <laughs> it's so fucking good man it's you put in the reps and you go to these acting classes and you fucking you get humiliated and you feel mm-hmm. uncomfortable because yeah. you're doing things you don't want to do mm-hmm. but when it comes to actually being on set that's when we get to have fun when we get to hurts. unwind when yes. we get to just fuck some shit up yes <laughs> Yes, yes. I love this shit. I love this shit. And I've, I've, I've been just putting in my reps. I haven't been going to class because it just life starts to life. Mm-hmm. life but I be have been and... listening to my Meisner book every single day. And I'm just trying to stay on top of my shit. Continue mm-hmm. to do these character breakdowns. Always auditioning. Always putting in the work. Always grinding. And I just, I want to keep up with y'all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You three, yeah. you inspire me. Everybody that gets on this podcast inspires me. All of y'all are fucking working. And it's so cool to watch because all of you have a unique perspective mm-hmm. of what you have gone through in life, mm-hmm. which helps you bring what you bring to the camera. Mm-hmm. And I just want to get to know all of y'all. Aww. So uh, I appreciate all of you Thank for you. sharing some time with me. Yeah. This episode was fucking awesome. Hell yeah. You and I had some mimosas. <laughs> yeah, I had some water, mimosas. but we had a good time. We had time. water. Yes. water. Yeah. We had the water and all the mimosas. Water and mimosas. Water and mimosas. Water and mimosas. Hey, y'all keep grinding because I'm fans, man. And if I'm a fan, that means there's a lot more of me out there. So keep on grinding. But that sums it up for this episode of Talk Smack with Mac. I appreciate all three of y'all. And I hope to have all three of you on the pod sometime again. Definitely. All right, man. We out. Yeah. Hey. Let's talk smack.